Kemzik Park, the site of the little lady Kamala's abduction tonight, and the place where an important piece of evidence, the music box, was hidden. I wonder why our lady detective is looking so dejected. At least she isn't dead. But what did she find? Thank god she's not fucking dead again. <laughs> It's a miracle. Um. Huh? What's he doing here? Doesn't he work across the street? <laughs> I don't know. La, la. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's, he's apparently doing talking on his own. Okay. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. Yeah, right. A little late, it's already ice cold. Oh my god, his hat! Thank you. <laughs> Swing harder. Whee! <laughs> Just swing him really hard, goodbye. The hell? What is it? What is happening here? Yeah, right. This is so silly on how we're supposed to get over to her. <laughs> ah, damn it. Can I, like, rock the... Of course not. Girl, I need help. Hello. Okay, how do I get down? <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, wait. I can do this. Trick out. And then... No, I was supposed to be on the ball! <laughs> Man, hello? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, there we go. Hello. <laughs> oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather... You didn't find what you were looking for? Right. I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else instead. Something horrible. Did you find a dead body? Horrible? What is it? Fucking dead body. Did someone fucking die? Yep. There. In the grass. You'd better see for yourself. That person looks fucking dead. God damn it. Oh man. Looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. Please don't. And I Don't die again. <laughs> and I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it there, can we? Nope. I suppose not. Okay. Well. Oh my god. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? I have some leaflets for you, leaflets I know you'll be interested in. I urge you to peruse it thoroughly, examine it in detail. Never mind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name? My name. Hmm. What does my name matter when there are more things to worry about? Okay. Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the Rock of the Gods with me. The night is no longer young. As a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Uh huh. Look, I don't have time to get involved in your way of life. But I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back. Back to four minutes before your death. I don't remember this one at all, actually. <laughs> Same, like, wait. Like, I remember the stuff after this point. I just don't remember this. And so I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay. And what does this have to do with this rock of the gods you mentioned? 
You still don't appear to understand. It's written quite clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. What the fuck? I don't. I've located the target, Beauty. A girl of the right age coming out of the right apartment building at the right time. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Won't you come with me? God, oh, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Oh my god! She- Hey, wait a second! Ooh. Someone moved that! Not a- What the fuck? What? What the, the fuck? fuck? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh, that's Mino! Mino? Mino, the mascot, the symbol of Tamzik Park! Forget about the name of that big creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, yes I did. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the rock gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And then that same power very deliberately crushed you instead? Yes, yes, precisely. That is called the mischief of the gods. Was it the mischief of the gods, or was it a ghost trip? Nah, it couldn't have been a ghost trip. No ghost trick could change the direction of something that heavy in midair. But, wait a minute. What if there was somebody with much greater powers than me? Alright! No fucking clue on how to stop this. <laughs> yeah. Look at that, there's another flame besides mine. Oh, so that is the flame of a god, is it? But hold on, your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Uh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably that flame's doing. Who could it be? Let me just go talk to him. I definitely believe it's either a good or somebody god-related. Hmm. Maybe I'd better try talking to this person. Oh, hell yeah. Um. Hello? Hello? Oh, what the fuck? This person with much greater powers than me. It's... it's... You? Yeah. Sissel! Oh my god, it's... Missel! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? Oh, did my thing freeze. My face froze. Nice no, I mean my face oh, no, froze. Your face is gone. Oh shit! Yeah. It did freeze. Probably because my probably because it's so freaking hot in here that it's overheating. Oh yeah. I did it. I tried really hard and I did it. I saved Miss Candela. Are you telling me I was done in by a puppy dog? Missile, so what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? Glad you asked. Miss Candela went out and you left. Fucking killed himself. Like, crazy 
me to make my own path and I did it. Oh my God, he learned how to open doors. Oh no. And then I followed Miss Camel out into the big wide world. What a good dog. And then, here at the park, I found her at last. Yeah, you guessed it, I barked. Yeah, you bet I did, and I went running after her, too. Oh my god. Oh! <gasps> Then I guess I died. And then I was unconscious for a little while. When I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camilla. Crushed under that big, scary lump. Oh, oh, what have I done? I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me. Miss Camilla! I had to rescue Miss Camilla. It was up to me. I cried up from the depths of my heart. And then... Hmm, there's a rock. I can't tell you mm -hmm. how surprised I was. But I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anybody else could. And I remembered what you did for me. How you saved me. So... You went back, right? Back to four minutes before the little lady's death. It's all. You it's bet all. I did. Look at this kid. You just fucking murdered this other person instead. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, anyway, that's fine. Now's my chance, I thought. I saw the my the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. Stretch out my paw towards the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Mm. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe it. How could you connect over such a great distance? Well, they don't call me missile for nothing. So then you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside? Right on top of my head. Oh, um, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I happened to see something out of the corner of my eye. And I had a core, too. Oh, he swapped it. A single leaf hanging from the tree. I tried reaching out to the leaf. What What in the world? Can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. As long as the two things have the same shape, that is. Swap things with the same shape. Go ahead and try it. Press swap. That That's incredible. So that's how you saved your mistress, is it? And that's how I became caught up in this, is it? I'm very sorry. My powers were too meager. Meager? Because you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core, but there was something ex with the exact same shape stuck in the trees of a branches of a tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that. The disaster wouldn't have about to rain down on my head. Okay. But what is that thing? It's too big to be a lead. You don't know what a football is? Whatever it is, I'd much prefer it on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap them, Missile? I couldn't. I stretched out my little paw a little further than you can, Sizzle. Little paw. Little paw. But this was just too far away for me. I couldn't reach it. Aww. 
must admit, it's a fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. I kept retrying, retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Cecil, you think so? I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you could help me? Of course! Naturally! So, we're going to drop that Mina thing in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. Let's go back again to four minutes before. <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mina with the leaf. And then you'll have to swap Mina with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe that's a rugby ball! Okay, rugby ball, huh? But with the rugby ball where it is now, Missile can't reach it. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like you and I will have to work together on that one, Missile. Okay, I'm ready! Whenever you want to use my swap trick, just press ZR. Alright. Hell yeah. The way you'll be able to control me, and then if you press ZR... Control will come control back- Control will come back to you. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Woohoo! Okay, let's try it! Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Mino, you horrible, horrible rock. Right? Um, oh wait. Open lid. Oh, um, I see a swap we can already do. I don't know. Hmm. Um. Cancel. Whoops. Come on. No. Okay, I'm gonna have to move him up and then ZR. Whoops. No, no. ZR. Left. Right. Okay. On. Uh, this is so much easier Wait. with a. There we go. There we go. Swap. I don't know why I needed to do that, but there's probably a reason. Okay. Um, maybe I should have moved first. Um, hold on. Okay, swap. And then. ZR. Oh no. Um, um, um. Aha! Well. No, wait. It's okay, so much more so. confusing with you guys. Yeah, I'm just like, my little brain is so confused right now. Okay, so. Trick. S no! ZR. I'm gonna have to move. Cancel. Okay, I think you do ZR. have to swap this so that. Yes, but I I have to. Him. I also have to move um Sissel up because I need to get Sissel up out of the way. Is yeah. the thing. So I need to get there. We go. And then. Oh God. Please, please. I'm begging. Okay, <laughs> so what I might have to do is I might have to back. I might have to move that and then ZR. There we go. Swap. Okay. Look at this funny flattened ball. The same shape as that horrible Mino, but it's too far to swap from here. Even this ball is starting to look horrible to me. Hmm. We have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Yes, I understand. Knock it down from the tree, I say! There must be something we can do. Um. um 
Oh my god, so he's right here. <laughs> Please, I need on. Please. Please. Okay, we're gonna have to get Okay, okay. Oh my god. We're gonna have to move this up. to like maybe swap oh, okay I can't okay but God. then I can move this down close that I don't have to open it What is this, troll? Uh, I can't reach it. I was hoping to swap that and that again, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm like, what the fuck do we do? Think. Oh, I can also swap that, but hold on. I feel like we're gonna have to rewind time on this. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Because there's also the ball on the thing. There's another yeah, ball so we can swap it with. Higher into that. Yeah. Um, okay, so, I'm gonna open this. Well, would you look at that? There's sure are a whole lot of round things around here. Okay. Boy! That means it's time for me, right? Oh boy! My hair is also round! Let's see. Okay. Gotta use missile's powers. Yep. Let's try and see what happens. Let's swap that tire all the way over there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think we have to do. Um... Oh wait. No. Um... Okay, so ZR. Swap. Okay, so I have to wait until he comes by, I think. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Until it spins. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wait. Oh, wait, a move. All right. Okay, the tire's there. Now what? Yeah. <laughs> The only thing I can think of is ZR. Need you to be out of the way for a second. No. Can we switch the whole globe? <laughs> yeah. No, we can't. Yeah, we yeah. can't. I mean, it's an orb. <laughs> I want you out of the way for a sec. Because you can reach so much fucking farther. Unfair. I need to wait until he gets on that. Come on. Please. Please, wait, I need to get up. Please! Okay. Please. Okay. 
Okay, so then. The fuck do we do? <laughs> right? Um. Stop talking, stop talking. Wait, time is moving forward while you're talking, please. Please stop. Okay. So you are. I don't fucking know what the fuck that's supposed to do, but... Right. I think this was, I was supposed to move this down earlier, but I just didn't have the time because the moment I move missile onto that, it eats up time. I think, maybe? Yeah. I don't actually know. I don't understand! Okay, I think I th I think I know what I have to do. It's 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 just like the positioning is something I don't understand yet. Because okay. I think I have to launch one of the balls up into the thing. Ah. So um Eh, my little harms. So you probably have to get on one of the leaflets to get there really fast, huh? Yeah. Okay, might have to just leave him down there. still spin it faster yes but i i think what i'm supposed to do is is you know when he he jumps on the thing you know how we move oh yeah yeah, yeah. So they have to get the umbrella there oh shit we i forgot to do one other thing swap that okay and then i need to move this up and then very quickly and then i need to don't jump on that fuck i ran out of time I, I I see what I have to do. I just don't know. I don't I don't know. I'm yeah. supposed to do the timing because like I'm pretty sure the basketball's supposed to land in the umbrella to make it turn into that shape. Or the tire. No, I think the tire is too big. Okay. Right. Okay, what if... Um... Okay, so now I need to... Oh my god, please. There we go, swap. Oh, 
Well, I could use up. Oh, fuck. Well, I could reach with that. We can with the missile at least, but yeah. Yeah, no, because I need to. I might have to try to make it spin faster. Yeah, Let's see if maybe that helps. Come on. And then swap. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Okay, something's happening that could be spinning faster at least. Yeah. I don't know if I should wait here. I guess. Eventually, <laughs> has to slow down, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, close this. The umbrella won't close, will it? The mob is the okay. mob must be in the way. Oh shit, okay. Oh, well. oh fuck. Okay. Um wait, hold on, ZR. Can we Shh. okay, swap. ZR close. How do we close it? Shit. I think it has to be the tire in it. Because of the way it should be. The tire's already in it. The tire's already in it. No, the umbrella. No, I mean, the tire's already in the umbrella. Oh, wait, that's a baseball. God damn it. How do I. Yeah, because you can't reach the tire because it was thrown. I think if he flings the tire tire up there, like if you leave the tire on the seesaw and it's thrown in. Yeah, I might have to do something like that. Wait. She, yeah. All the folks in the building now. Oh! Yeah, okay, yeah, no, the tire has to go in it. Um, to... Okay, so we're gonna try to rewind time again. We got it this time. Okay. Cause... Okay, so instead, whoop, ZR. So then I can swap the tire immediately and then it'll hit the basketball up. Come on, buddy. Ah, shit! That's not what I want to do. Okay. And that's fine. Come on, land on the thing. Spin faster. I love that he just kind of gets trapped there for a bit. <laughs> yeah. And then open it. Okay, so once... And then... 
Okay, and then... Oh, so now yeah. it's too heavy. Okay. Okay, and then... There, we moved the ball. What do you think, Missile? With the ball there? I think I can do it! In just a few seconds, you swap Mino with the leaf. And then from there, you can swap Mino one more time. The final moment is near, Missile. Are you ready? You bet! Okay. On. Swap. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. The finishing touches. You can do it, Missile. Swap Mina with the ball. All right. Swap. Bonk. <laughs> I love the garbage being crushed immediately, too. The same. There! How's that? My head has been spared. Truly, that was a try worthy of the gods. Yum. And now Mino is right where he belongs. We did it again, didn't we? Didn't we? Fate averted. <laughs> Yay! Now nobody has to die. Except for one brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me. I guess you're right. I'm still dead, huh? Aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Hmm. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camilla when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camilla, and to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Strictly understandable. Even I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Oh, of course. You're right. Okay, Missile. Have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there's a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present time, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back, then, to the present. Man. Fucking, she's gonna have, like, she's gonna freak out, because she's like, what do you mean the dog is dead? Yeah. <laughs> and so, Camilla ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry. I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright after all. After all, she has me! The fuck? Who said that? <laughs> M Missile? Are you in there? Miss Lynn, leave Miss Camilla to me. I know I don't look like much right now, but I'm sure I can help her. M Missile. Oh no. <laughs> Missile, no! <laughs> Miss Lynn! <laughs> Missile! We've lost Missile. Oh my god, he's gone! <laughs> we lost the dog. Um, I'm gonna leave it up to Missile. <laughs> And it looks like Missile is being left up to the wind. You just oh, lost your missile. dog. Whoopsie. Oh! What is wrong with this person? I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into housing sets. Protect the park from the Rock of the Gods. Aren't you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. My apologies, this is for you. 
Oh. You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. Not at all. I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. Hmm. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue. <laughs> He's mesmerized by my beauty. Uh, uh... Hey! The cat's not allowed to get your tongue! Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you the little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was ten years ago in this part. Ten years ago? The fuck? Ah, shit. Are you talking about... Which two I talked to? <laughs> Have you met this strange young man before, Lynn? I don't remember, but he said ten years ago in this park. It could be only one thing that I can think of. Hmm. Looks like I'd better talk to Mr. Leaflet here. Alright. Here in the park, the gods surely control fate. Today, ten years from the, that day, we meet again. If that isn't the power of the gods, then what else is? It could just be coincidence. But apparently you know our lady detective here. Could you tell us about it? About what happened ten years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually just about to do that. Rock of the Gods. What's this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. <laughs> this little dead body. That's your dog. That's your dog! Oh, Missile. Wait a minute. You say G-O-D-S, but do you mean D-O-G-S? Of course not. Don't be silly. This is no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a look. A good look at that monument. Monument. Um, sure. The fuck is this? Rock of the Gods, Tamzik Park. The Rock of the Gods, huh? There's a fucking rock right there. The The Rock of the Gods is buried in the ground right there. It's been there for ten years. Ever since that day, it flew down to the heavens and showed us a miracle. A miracle? So, this rock you've been talking about, is that a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on th that day ten years ago. Yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. M me That day I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Oh, yeah. This cutscene we've seen before. Stay back. Because... Yeah. Man, she always had chicken hair, huh? I peeked yeah. out fearfully from the bushes and saw some shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. That tension was so thick it was painful just when I couldn't stand it any longer. That's when it happened. The sky suddenly burned bluish white. Fucking magic ass rock fell from the sky. Fucking magic rock. When it crashed into the ground, the meteor gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. And then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day. So Jell didn't even shoot the guy. Nope. Ten years ago, the little girl that was you was saved by the Rock of the Gods. I... I can't believe it. Um... The Rock of the Gods was given the name Temzik, and still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. 
Temzik. We've heard that name before. I I never knew about this Temzik. I always thought Detective Jad was the one who saved me. You were very young then, and you passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that should have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lynn. She was like eight. National <laughs> secret. It is, isn't it? But now that I think about it, I remember I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and I never came back to this park again. That's why I didn't know anything about it. The meteorite was named Temzik after the name of the park it fell in. And then the Rock of the Gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're talking about turning this park into a housing site. I'll never forget the miracle I witnessed that day. And so I've taken up residence in this park and I'm trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the Rock of the Gods. That is my mission. I see. Missile. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So, ten years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteorite. I get that, but Detective Jowd, on the other hand... Well, Detective Jowd was going crazy in prison. Yeah, that's true. There's no way he didn't know about this Temzik thing. And if he knew... And, and the, the man died. It took his life. Yeah, so fuck. What was the confession of his all about? He didn't kill him. Maybe he did shoot his gun, but at the same time the thing struck him, so that dude was just double dead. Yeah. The rocks of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives. Like the ripples in a pond when a pebble is dropped in. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there's a few things I want to ask Detective Zhao. We found them a music box, Detective Jowd. Leave this one to you for right now. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Hmm. Once everything had been resolved, I had wanted you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Cabanella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. Detective Jowd. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know. Oh my god, he's just fucking <laughs> ripping it open. See? He calls that a knack? It looks more like brute strength to me. How the fuck did that fit in there? <laughs> That's a big fucking gun. You should find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks. When Camilla built her contraption, she used a special kind of string. It's a kind magicians use, and it burns up in an instant and disappears. Why would little Camilla use something like that? You've seen the shit she builds. I don't know. Maybe because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. <laughs> In the case report, there was mention of some scorch marks. When, when it happened, Kemla was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame run to the gun, something she naturally didn't include in her design. I took the gun out of the frame, and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind it on the frame too. 
And those marks should match up with the ones on the gun. In other words... It proves that the contraption existed there in that room that day. Didn't the what's-it-called dude in the park have a gun on the wall too? So they seem aware of it on some yeah. level. Yeah, there was a gun there. And it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly. Some cowardly culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. And so as Justice Minister, I must call up the execution at this point. I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jowd. Now we can finally prove that. Yeah, except try telling it to court. Yeah, anyway, Ghost did it. We promise we're not lying. Yeah. We swear. Thank goodness. We swear ghost. Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from ten years ago. All right. Um. I All don't right, think. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sissel, you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would be gone by now, without ever of knowing any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself these past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have been finally opened. Tonight. I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. The only reason I was doing it was to regain my own lost memory. Things are different now. We're connected to each other somehow. I know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions. In order to find the truth about us. Fair enough. Fire away. Ooh, the manipulator. Cecil told me all about it, Detective Jowd. About the manipulator? Yes, and it looks like the manipulator really did a number on the minister, too. Ah! <laughs> Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. <laughs> oh. Sissel, do you think? Do you think that's what's gonna happen to me too? Hmm, what are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. That image of... Oh, that's you. Shoot. It's me. The image yeah. of the one who shot me. But now I see the possibility of a new explanation. Now we see why her guns, why her arms move in, in that yeah, video. Yeah. But who is it? And why did they do it? We don't fucking know. That contraption was a birthday present. Surprise for Camo's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know of that device from somewhere. It's like I got shot from it. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no surprise there. You lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it. See, Detective Jab? No, I don't see. The fuck? I told Detective Jab about it. I told him about seeing the exact same contraption tonight, in a completely different place. That's very strange indeed. Junkyard on the edge of town? I've never even heard of this place. What's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't. Hmm. That old pigeon guy. Who is he? I'm like a forensic dude, admittedly. Detective Zhao, you must have heard this name before. Temzik. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago. You were there. Hmm. So you found out about that, did you? I hear that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, doesn't it mean you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Zhao, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. 
What? But it was the meteorite. Hmm. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. That's not true! You were trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but I don't think that's really it. Huh? The fuck? Uh -huh. On that day ten years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yeah, in the police headquarters interrogation room. The worst sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Well, I didn't know about that. I happened to be there in the detective division, so I joined the chase. Fortunately, or so I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him so bad. The warning shot made him panic. At that time, I was a young detective in green, brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I made him panic and got you involved, Lynn. It was all my fault. Detective Jowd. All I could ever see was my target. I couldn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. He was just another cop. Yeah. So the man who grabbed me that died that day. These last ten years, I've never forgotten his face. And then a few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was my fate. I punished it for what I'd done. I painted pictures of myself, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All of the faces of the many people I'd met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. It's him. The final face. The final face of the man in the park that day. Wait, wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw that face you painted tonight. Yeah. That's why he said what he said. It was my face. That's why he was like, I, d I can't tell you who you are because you're not that fucking person. Yeah. Are you telling me that I was the man in the park that time? Uh, we're saying you're not. <laughs> Actually. That, that's right. That face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. The face of the man whose life I stole. Of the man who was pronounced dead at the scene. But hold on, bit Detective Jowd. That can't be true. I just met Sissel for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name of that I know the man in the park of that day by isn't Sissel. What? what? The fuck? From the first minute I laid eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I, uh... We definitely seen ghosts take on the wrong face, huh? Mr. Minister? Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? what? Demand? Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be tonight. Once we've confirmed it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? You know, it wasn't my doctor who's abducted. Does it really matter who the hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Huh. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look paler than ever. What in the world? 
What's going on? Inspector Cabanella! The rock of the gods that fell from the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the chain continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved that to us. And the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? I'm even further from knowing than when I started. Aha! Aha! Mm-hmm. Well, there's like what two two technical chapters left, or if I remember correctly? I think so. Yeah. And then an epilogue. Yeah. Each chapter is gonna be like fucking hour long. <laughs> Ten years ago, a man named Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Fuck! Oh boy! I see myself. Are you sure, buddy? <laughs> the fuck is this? Smug ass motherfucker. <laughs> there you are, Commander Sith. Finally. Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking for you everywhere. Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? Hmm, we can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before the dawn. Hmm, yes, we're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. that hmm yes we're very close we will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive sir very well Big ass grapes. The fuck? Whole ass fucking submarine. Mm hmm. Nice try, Inspector Cavanello. But you could never stop me. See ya, sucker. Oh, oh. I like how Sissel's been sitting here just watching. <laughs> so. <laughs> that submarine guy and his people have a deal going with me, do they? 
if that's the case. They probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? You do realize it's not you. Anyway. No, he does not realize. <laughs> There's definitely something behind the inspector's desk. He's like, oh shit, there's two of me. I think I'd better talk to him. It's like, fuck, there's two of me? That's so weird. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? Oh boy, still unconscious, huh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see there, though. But if that's where I'm going to find my answer, I can't run away from it. <laughs> Just like, fuck it, I can't wait. <laughs> Once hey. the criminal gets... Oh, oh sorry. Because oh, I, yeah. I was just no, like, we've already seen this. Yeah. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. It gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Ugh. What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a little bit? What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all of the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life, or have you forgotten that? Ah! Ugh, that's it's gotta Wrong. smell! I was murdered by all of you. Detective Jowd, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn? She was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. That's the most self-centered bullshit I have ever heard. This and finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. You were so proud of your spotless record. And my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Chow. Is it fucking dying? Mm hmm. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You've never listened anyway. <laughs> the ragdoll. <laughs> you fucking ragdoll. Yep. Oh, that's so cool. He got. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Tenzin.
revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Why are you- That's not you! Buddy! <laughs> Hey. Mind. <laughs> Mind telling me what's going on? <laughs> Inspector Cabanello, he's awake. Yeah, he's just like, yo, what happened? My head is spinning, baby. It's like, I see two of you. <laughs> Am I to understand? That Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Yeah. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me. <laughs> Gotta get ghost strangled. I guess so. Which you couldn't be, could you? Huh? <laughs> After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So... Who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information that I need. So, you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. He's like, I've seen a lot of weird shit tonight, soul. <laughs> like, I, I'm just dead, man. <laughs> um, if I remember correctly, he starts fucking with shit. Look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? Oh yeah, because if I remember correctly, things get fucked up if he notices that we move shit. Oh boy. Um, what happens by? I... Oh fuck. He sees us. <laughs> What's going on? I've never seen the ghost world like this. So, you're here, are you? He sensed my presence. I noticed you. You think you can stop me, do you? Uh -huh. I don't know why you're wearing my face. You might as well give up out now. I control everything. Well. Oh, ha ha. Ha ha. Whoopsie, it didn't happen. It didn't happen. I'm trying to remember how. Yeah, right. I have to wait. Oh, until he knocks the kettle down. Like oh angry. shit, yes, because then we have to go down, I think, because I think other stuff happened here. Because there's a struggle over there. Yeah. Oh boy. Aha! Uh Aha! -huh. Uh -huh. Oh my god! <laughs> Look at this place. What the fuck happened? <laughs> oh shit, sure. that's where I Fucking saw. <laughs> bomb went off here. Hmm. I think I'm starting to remember. Huh? Something bad happened here. No, duh! And now, there's another death lying hidden here. What? Another death? Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? I thought you were talking about you. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm 
just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. He's like, I'm just fucking nuts, okay? I'm just a Bird. silly little guy. Bird! Bird! Hey, come to think of it. Where's that old pigeon guy? There I like how we're like... Yeah, I like how we, we're like, oh yeah, we should probably do something about that death over there anyway, haha. <laughs> Um, good luck with that. You know, we, we we have other things to take care of right now. All right. Um, mm. excuse me. Hmm. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white suit that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type that likes losing things, but never mind that. Cabanella, this is a surprise guest you've got brought with you. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? I should probably stop wearing that dude's face. Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hm, pitiful. Hey, what's <laughs> mean? Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before you're dead. In order mm -hmm. to change your fate, that is. But aren't we ready in the past, man? But we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Alright, what happened go. here? <laughs> back even more, back even more. <laughs> we there's the only way we can go is up, which happens to be backwards. Yeah. What the fuck is that? How many times do I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. The gun is in the portrait. Don't be daft! <laughs> I can't leave now! He's completely dead, but just as I thought I'm getting readings... This is the source of his power. If I remove it... He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect. It's a spirit. Then it gets up and fucking blows up the place. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? You're gonna pull some dynamite? Oh my god. You so bendy. <laughs> I love the way it moves. Mm -hmm. You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So, it's really true. Y you're... I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. Actually, because of Lynn. You don't know that yet, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> but it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body's just a vessel. A shell. I control everything. The shell. People. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lynn. He's on his tippy toes. So, oh, it's true. You weren't manipulating my baby that time? You made her shoot your gel? But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Jab did. It's so funny because I'm pretty sure this dude would be like, Hey, isn't that a dead fucking body? <laughs> now then, Professor, I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudges against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to raise all evidence of that these powers of mine exist. Farewell. Along with a contraption in this room.
this time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll be all oh, I over. I see the there. I see mm -hmm. the on the fucking table. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Fucking dynamite! Professor! Oh, Professor, look out! Boom! Oh, look at that pose, goddamn. Right? Dynamite, eh? Where the devil did he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared. The blue doctor. Oh shit, yeah. The when medical examiner, remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab. But he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through their plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. You bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course. After I save you two. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? <laughs> no time for thinking now, baby. Action is the name of the game. Work your magic and take us back even further into the past. <laughs> Just like, hey. Just oh, I think I remember what we have to do for this one. Because I do remember this- I remember this- uh, I don't. Hey look, there's something down there. Oh, can you like- Oh, it's <laughs> like you- it would be fall. Let's see if you fall. Aww. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I can't open it. it. Could the fact the professor is standing on it have anything to do with it? I may look small, but I'm pretty heavy set. He sounds so proud of that fact, too. This door... Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open downward. Sometimes life could be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead. Hmm. A door that opens downward, huh? If I remember correctly, I can't do anything until- Hey look, there's a Raz! I just have to- if I remember correctly, I just have to wait this shit out. Hey, there was a noise. <laughs> Come on, go on faster. Get off of it. <laughs> yeah, please. Fuck off. I think he's just gonna be there the whole time. No, yeah, that's fine. Um, we can't do anything right now anyway. There's- I, I'm waiting for this to happen. Mm. Okay. Whoop. 
Okay, camera. Okay, that's fine. You can't open it. That's fine. Wait, that right should be... What? Camera. Thistle. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. W where are you? Find me before I'm carried away. Hmm. What's with the frail sounding call for help? He's here somewhere. A uh, friend of yours? Yeah, a little guy that looks a little fragile, but has strength that would surprise him. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Pretty sure. There he is. Thistle! Here I am! Oh, hey! It's... Missile! I don't think he actually there? remembers Missile's name. Yeah, right? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no. That's okay. Never mind. It's like, it's like you and Lin lost him or something. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you! Okay, here I am, Sissel! Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewers is a little bit stinky! Smelly! Um, trying to think, what is there can we swap? Bam. Be the measuring device in that? Hmm. Rolling. I'm gonna have to like after fade change. Um mm. Oh wait. Cause he can go much farther. There we go. Oh yes, yeah. yes, there are things I can oh, swap here. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Thistle, my animal instincts are starting to surface. If you mean you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. There must be some kind of rat feast in that trash can. These things usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, huh? Oh my god. More rats. More rats. More rats. More rats. Rats. More rats. 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 Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion. They're making the trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel a little bit like dancing now myself. Getting harder and harder to hold back my wild instincts. I'm just gonna start barking. What a dangerous bunch. <laughs> Rats, rats, rats. <laughs> okay. I know. Rats, rats. rats, we are the rats. Come on, come on. Okay, I have to wait yeah. for this to roll closer. Swap. Um. Yeah, and then when it, the lid falls down, I think you can replace it with the door. 
Oh, shit, yeah. Come on. Oh, yes, yes, yeah, blah, 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 blah. I need to move. I need to move. Please. Oh, no. Oh, no. Shut oh, up, no. shut up. Shut up. Shut up, please. Um, move. Oh, wait. Hurry up, get flat. Right? Oh, there we go. It's the same shape now. Yeah! As long as he didn't see that. And he didn't get to see it. Mm-hmm. Oof, Kevin Allen. <laughs> Ouch. It's gotta fucking hurt. No wonder you had to... Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector. <laughs> I have a little job for you. I can't move. I think I have four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it hurt a little, but when I move you, though, quite by the actually. Damn you. Ow. <laughs> it changed. <laughs> I can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Cabanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am. A poor, broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter. I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except... Unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. <laughs> okay. Hmm. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead, not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact that right about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. Oh, this is you. Oh, the phone call? Yeah, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister? Hmm. You really shouldn't be mean like that. Hmm. And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Or he would be if he was actually still full of life. Camilla. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing. The poor little girl, taken hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute, Miss Camilla is a hostage? Yes, we're sorry, little warrior. What's hostage? <laughs> Miss, Miss Camilla, a hostage? What's a hostage? Oh my god, he really did- okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot, actually. Anyway, <laughs> Inspector Cabanella. It's time to save your life now. Which you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? Well, now we have this dog. But this time it's different, right, Sissel? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. <laughs> It's just, you know, when you have two animals who happen to be playing with each other, and you're like, well, they like each other yeah. more than me. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's get started. Inspector Cabanella is upstairs. So, our first step is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you! Yeah, that's rude. Oh, oh, oh. God, fuck off, dude! <laughs> Okay, love dove. We need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. 
Oh, thank God. Oh, good bird. What a good bird. Oh. That's so cute. Right? You've got grit, little pigeon. I better get up there before the little pigeon's strength gives out. Missile's waiting for me, so I better hurry. Oh, oh, the pigeon! <laughs> the pigeon's falling! Pigeon! There you are, Sissel! Sorry for the wait, Missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, won't, would you? Uh, there you go again with that stuff. Hi, Bleach! Hello. Besides, it doesn't even make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. You best time uh bet this time around is just allow him to sh uh, shoot and then save cabanella without him noticing oh it's even worse than last time anywho jump in there and do something hey i'm ready to jump in sissel don't forget whenever you want to use my powers just tap the button okay. oh boy oh okay. if i remember correctly um I need to move him off the stepladder, I think. I think anytime we move something in front of him, he'll see it. Yes, yeah, so we have to wait till he stops. Basically. <sighs> I can't get back up. <laughs> yeah, we're it's Yeah, I think it's, um... Up. Oh. There we go. There we go. Oh, if I remember correctly, I have to swivel this, I think, when he turns around. And then I have to knock the this over, I think, maybe? Maybe. I think. Uh. Um. Yeah, so this way oh. he doesn't notice. Okay, and then... Trying to remember how I want to do this. Whoops. No, 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 that's not what I want to do. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. And then I have to get on that. Now I should be able to get on it. I just have to wait until he's not paying attention. Yeah, so now he's looking away from that. So... Okay, and then now that looks like a bullet. And now I have to move this back. And then... I think this is fine. It's no use! In my power, there's nothing I can do. I... 
But I have it. Hmm. I have it right there. It's the hat. Mm -hmm. Oh, the hat. shit. Okay, wait. I think I, I have to swap it again. Hold on. There's another thing I have to swap it with. Um, can I get shot again? From beginning. Okay, I think I know what I have to do. There's another thing I can swap it with. This is dub. Okay, so, okay, I gotta go up here. Gotta go up here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is where I'm at. Good luck, kids. Blah, blah, blah. Come on. Do your little thing. Come on, get angry. Okay, yeah, I see the thing I need- I- I, I should probably do. Okay. You're like, the hell is that? Okay. See the stupid thing I have to swap it with. Fucking ragdoll. I love it so much. Mm hmm. Very little. Yeah, I know. I only have a certain amount of time. Oh, now it's facing the right way, okay. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> it- cause it was facing the wrong fucking way. Yeah. Again, I, I have it. What do you mean it's this? What do you mean? Oh, okay. I don't think I was supposed to knock it down. God damn it. Uh, I, you were supposed to just leave it up? I think so. I, I'm like, I vaguely remember this, but I thought it had to be stupid fucking... No, wait, Pinjin, no! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got stuck forever. Knock that down. Now it's on the ground, I can get up. And then I wait. Oh shit! Um... I zoned out for a second. Whoops.
Okay. <laughs> okay, and then back over here. Okay, yeah, they actually had something to say there. It... No. Oh, shit. Okay, no, dialogue is changed. Chance is coming up. The last split second, right? Leave it to me. <laughs> would, would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. <laughs> Now's our chance. Oh, I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. What? It's so fucked up. That's our only hope. There's gotta be something here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. I, that's so stupid. That's bullshit. <laughs> that's so stupid. You're telling me he didn't notice he got hit by the hat. You're telling me he didn't notice this. <laughs> that he's not bleeding right now. I don't think he noticed. Looks like he pulled off another magic disappearing act. Haha. <laughs> no, fucking kidding me. I love knit hats. So warm. And most of all, soft. Did I? Did I do alright? You did a fine little job. Luan, you saved another life, and I'll keep doing it too, over and over. <laughs> what I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. All our research these past ten years pales in comparison, you were right, Professor. So you two were working together. That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So, we pursued it ourselves. Just the two of us. I tried a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back. Back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Kamala. You're right, Miss Wong. And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. This next chapter is gonna be so fucking good. It's the last one. Oh We're finally here. It. We're finally here. It's been, what, three years since we fucking started this playthrough? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so long. I know. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now, a new story is about to unfold. And a new present. How are you feeling, you crazy old character? Hey there, Professor. We're both alive, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gonna. Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Let's just pray the boys come through for us. <laughs> yeah, your your <laughs> ribs are broken, my guy. Damn it. You picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. <laughs> Dude, your bones are broken. Dude, it's yeah. okay. Dude, it's okay. <laughs> right. 
Well, it looks like both of their deaths were linked. Unfortunately, in the case of the Inspector in White, I can't call it a complete success. But, in any case, these two have the information I need to start tracking the manipulator. I better talk to them. Alright. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way, I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Hmm. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true that I can't do much about injuries. He's like, I just want cool powers, too! But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, yeah, sorry, I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so... helpless. He was right there, within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then... this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Just say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. Mm, he's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about when he said this? Murdered by all of you. Uh, yeah, if you hadn't done what you had done, I wouldn't have fucking done anything. Hmm. Hmm. Yes. Ten years ago, on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But I... I'd just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. And then... I made another mistake on top of that. Cabanella, yeah, got a minute? The chief wants to see you about your report. Got it. I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. You got to lock the door. And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. How could oh. you? Oh, bro! He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. Jesus! <laughs> We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communications networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him. Him and his powers.
That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast, and the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner, commissioner hostage in his own office. Hmm, those two inmates at the special prison, huh? We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then, finally, we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight, and staked it out. The restaurant. The chicken kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. A submarine? Well, we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if these, these powers were to fall into their hands. Right. Highly unlikely that they'd use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Pamela. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. So, the spotless record of yours. Is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. Than your life? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulator case. The manipulator case? That's why you cared about your record so much? You wanted to climb the ranks to figure out what the fuck was going on. Of course. Why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Jow, shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story. Some secret. I did everything I could to climb that ladder, everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator. He's going to prove that Jout is innocent. What incredible determination. You're gonna prove ghosts exist, guy. There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jout, Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, huh? There's one little unfortunate result of all of this. Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. Huh. What's the misunderstanding? My baby will come around. Give it time. Maybe talk to her. <laughs> but there are more important things to do with our time tonight. Alright. Yeah, I guess. Wait, dude. Just ask. Oh, uh, <coughs> I have to talk to him, too. Mr. Superintendent. Do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard and superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. I investigated victims' death cause of death. I knew it. 
Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse, hit by a meteorite fragment, and died instantly. That's what the police report said. And the body fucking walked away. I... There was no sign of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. An unusual... Oh. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I would interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. Yeah. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead after all. No question about it. But that wasn't a scratch on him. Not a scratch. But I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. He was preserved. I don't understand more than you anything than you do. Fucking preserved like jelly. Oh my god, he's a jelly man. I was completely bewildered, but then when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instance. That's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. Fucking... That, yeah, that could see why this would be horrifying to him. And I never had the chance to solve the mystery, so I fucking quit. That's because the corpse has been vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there is only one way the corpse could have disappeared if it got up and walked away. What's that? It fucking got up and walked away. Got up. <laughs> Every time he moves. He has so much weight. He's so heavy. Yeah. <laughs> it just heavy for a out. lanky dude. He just left. He just fucking walked out. Yeah, he's just like, what the fuck happened? Please. It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What? He was dead, but like, he wasn't dead. We saw with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. And... He didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. The corpse left behind some data from some testing I did. I got some reading from for some kind of radiation coming out the body. A radiation? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some d undiscovered type from a world unknown. Wait a minute, could it be? That's right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment. The fucking Rock of the Gods. Why hasn't he dug it up yet? No one would notice if he dug up that rock. Yeah, right. I went to the park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research all in depth, so I quit my job as a police and medical examiner and became a crazy person. <laughs> Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. It's the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you want to see me blow? <laughs> he just arrived. Mm hmm. It was about a year ago, I'd say. This man came in white came dancing into my research lab here. <laughs> Literally dancing. Literally. I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Temsi. Is that you, baby? Who are you calling? Uh, who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? Fucking came in here dancing like that. <laughs> I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who'd quit the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. At that time, we were just starting to get our leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet. 
Well, we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case and the Temzik were somehow connected. Which also explains how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling the camera. Yep. Yeah, That's it is Phoenix awesome. Wright. That was Phoenix Wright. You're right, Soul. Yeah. <laughs> so the contraption in the basement here. You built that to try and help Detective Giles. Missile's even the same missile from that, those games, actually. <laughs> That's right. Jowd and I worked together back when I was on the, with the force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Pamela told Jowd it did something it shouldn't have. It made it an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put a part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. So that must mean that somebody manipulated Camilla's contraption. As a result, we proved to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Inspector Cabanella, you don't look great. Hey, baby. Get this man to a hospital. Sorry about that phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that cool cat inspector you've always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Didn't she turn into <laughs> him first when she, like, first, um, yeah. became unconscious? Or, re conscious? <laughs> oh shit, yeah. Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry. I just heard... You were chasing after the man, after that man, all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. Maybe don't say that, actually. Wait. Yikes. <laughs> Night. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. <laughs> but a joke Wait. is a joke! You might as well laugh! Joad? The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Jack go free until tomorrow morning, too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. Oh my god. Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around. And then you swoop in at the last second. Down. You have his coat! <laughs> Five years ago, you left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promised to give it back to you one day. Um, so you're wearing... Prison jumpsuit. Yeah. I've been waiting so long, Detective Jowd. <laughs> waiting for this day to come? Thanks for not giving up on me, Lynn. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. Hey, wait, take me with you. And your dog. Can you call an ambulance, please? <laughs> <laughs> this present you gave me. It's just what I needed. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. It's not calling that ambulance. <laughs> 
Oh, he's doing so bad right now. It's surprising he hasn't he's passed like, out. Really dying. <laughs> yeah. Sissel, are you there? Yeah. What's up? Yo, you and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. Why is there not an ambulance, right? They use communication <laughs> cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow, you'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Alright, fine. I'm counting on you. The true self you're looking for? I bet you'll find it soon! Alright, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. Hope you don't need anything, bye! Please, call the <laughs> ambulance. <laughs> It's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now, I don't feel so alone. <laughs> Each one of us, for their own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Honestly, I think a bullet would have killed him anyway. <laughs> You're not wrong. I have to pee so bad. I'll be right back. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh my god. Why are you raiding me just as I'm gonna go pee? Hold on. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, Mix It Up is not on. I actually have to do this manually. Hold on. Whoops. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back. Thank you for the raid. Ho hope the stream was good. I You were doing Final Fantasy V. Be right back. <laughs> we're on the last chapter of Ghost Trick, though. Yeah, We're going to yeah, be in the quite literally back. last one. <laughs> yep. I hope y'all had a good night. Be right back. Wah! Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Hello. Okay. We go back to the screen. How was the arting? And the final fantasy -ing? The finaling of the fantasy. Yeah. And this, we're, now we're on the finaling of this fantasy. Hell yeah. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. I've like never played Final Fantasy games. Ooh, good job with the commissions. Nice! Except all the death. You know, that's fair. Hello? <laughs> this is Jowd. Sissel, are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk, we'll be waiting for you. Wee. The amount of times people have gotten calls and people are just calling ghosts and they're like, what the fuck? It's like, hey, Sissel. It's like, oh shit, okay. <laughs> well, you better get going. The long night is dawning to an end. Yeah, looks like it. Thank you for all your help tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. At the other end of the phone line. I'm finally gonna find all my answers. I better go.
A single telephone line connects me and the other Cecil. But that single line spreads out like a spider's web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just reached the center of the web. And this one chapter is going to be like two hours long if the other two took us like an hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the Yonoa. Detective Jowd. Oh, shit. Who dat? Ooh. That guy. My detective senses must have gone rusty. I didn't even sense your presence here in the dark. That's because I switched off the power to my mask, Detective Jowd. I used your phone. Hope you don't mind. Gad, never thought you'd track us here. No, especially as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised about your choice of transportation. A submarine, huh? But how did you go and find us, my man? Not even the police knew where the Yanoak was going to surface. Confound it. We detectives have a little saying. If there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminals. The fucking angle so good. Oh shit, the bullet! The bullet the man in red sh was shot with had a radio transmitter in it. I have a little something for you. Was it fucking ah. tracking device? Cabanel's given me some pretty weird presents in the past. They always proved useful. This one was a radio receiver made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes, oh, Inspector okay. Cabanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is the man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, Sissel, you mean? Ah! Wait. Ah! <laughs> you! You can relax, that's nothing but his shell. His shell, huh? His spirit isn't here right now. Most likely right about now, he's controlling your daughter. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage, take me. Just please, let her go. But... There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's all we care about, my man. Nothing else matters. However it would appear, Sissel has underestimated us. He left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip. The fuck? Our nation has already researched it. This product that we Sissel has to offer, the source of his powers. You just took it out of him? Or like... Did they take it out of them? Oh, now they have. Oh, they have. Now they have. Yeah, now they got it. Well, that doesn't make him powerless. It just means that it's no longer in the body. Well, what yeah. in the world was that? The Thamesic Fragment. It gives the spirit special powers. Now our deal with Sissel is concluded as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? <laughs> what a mistake to make. Right at the most critical moment. Now then, Detective Jowd. Farewell. What the fuck? Goodbye! Wait, that guy's in there too. What the, what fuck? the fuck? The whole room just vanished. Detective Jowd. Where did he go? Oh, hey, there's a ball to swap right there. I don't know what for, but there's a ball to swap. Yeah, right. What now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. 
I smell danger. I'd better find them and fast. Okay, but yeah, where's our dog? Where's our good boy? Oh, there he is! Hello! Oh, no, wait! So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yes, I think even I remember who you are by now. <laughs> Why haven't you said my name, huh? <laughs> what do you suppose that shop was in the I have no idea, of course. I'm just a dog. I'm just a- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, with my memory loss, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla. Do you think that trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? No, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't think I can. Why did I even bother to ask? But you do have the power to swap objects. So, let's find that lady detective and the little lady together. You got it! Accidentally correct about dog. <laughs> the telephone is ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camel! I just know it! My trusty nose is practically screaming at me! I think you'd call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get to that phone before it stops ringing. You bet! Ugh. Oh god. Damn it. Okay, hold on. Swap these. There we go! Aha! Uh -huh. Yep. I think I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I've got a bad feeling about this. This a look! The black hello! It came off the hook! <laughs> he calls it hello because that's what people say oh, to the phone! Oh, it's a little bonus! He's so cute! Uh oh, I'd better answer it. Fast. Black hello, it's just called a hello to him. <laughs> He's so cute. Hello? Is anybody- Oh my god, he was right. It's her. The little lady. Holy shit. It's Sissel. Where are you? Somebody please answer. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too, huh? Oh good, I thought she was ignoring me. Oh, that means she's been calling for a while. Somebody oh. help me. Lynn, Lynn is... Oh, Lynn dead again. Dead again? Miss Lynn! You better hurry. You better hurry. She's Let's go, Sissel! She fuck off, fuck off. Fuck. Stop <laughs> dying! Stop fucking dying on us, please. We're begging of you. God damn it, there she is! Her She's body's fucking right dead. fucking dead. It's no use. Nobody's answering. Okay, but her body's floating in a wheelie. Is there water? There is water down there. She fucking drowned. Oh, it's. Yeah. Miss. Miss Camilla! And. Miss- Miss Lynn! Oh, poor Miss Lynn! Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy has happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy! I knew you'd come! Miss Camilla! Miss Camilla! And Missile, too! I'm so glad to see you're alright. Well, I wouldn't say that I'm alright exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Missile, your voice! I think I remember hearing it somewhere before. What? My voice? Hmm. That's right. Camilla has a core now, so that means... She did hear Missile's voice before, when he saved her that time. That was you, wasn't it, Missile? You're the one who saved me in the park. Thank you. Miss Camilla, I'm so glad I was born your little doggy. Hey, Missile. Could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? But don't you need my power? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. You're gonna crushing somebody. Okay, I, I'll do it. Thank you, Missile. It's Aww. like, uh, this little girl is sad. Can you keep an eye on her? I, I don't want little girl to be sad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and you can see the core up there. That's cute. Aw, I... Missile just sitting there. 
I can I can reach. Hello. <laughs> Lynn. Oh, Sissel, you're here. Lynn, what the fuck happened? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I know, I was dead. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Jowd? Is he all right? I don't know. Huh. The room he was in just disappeared all of a sudden. Now it's all making even less sense than before. I don't know who this is. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. After we left the super office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with that radio transmitter. Inspector Cabanilla fired into him with a bullet. The man in red took a boat out to sea from a small harbor town on the edge of town. Did Chad and I managed to secretly stow away on his boat. And then we snuck on the submarine with him and it surfaced. Before long, the submarine drove back down again. Did have Chad and I decided to split up? You'd take care of the telephone line and I would look for Kamala. I found Kamala hiding here in the engine room. She escaped and ran away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. So, what happened next? I don't know. Ah. Oh. There was a flash of light all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, I was dead. Oh boy. Sounds like it would be quicker for me to see for myself. Pamela, are you okay? Oh, shit! Camilla? Hello, Lynn. Or is this detective now? I've been ten years since we last met. It's a big-ass gun. Right. Are you... Are you really that man from the park ten years ago? Well, well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camilla back! She has nothing to do with any of this! Afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance! The phone is ringing. It's not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. The fact that you're here means that my revenge plan failed. Revenge plan. It didn't happen tonight, did it? His execution. Well, knowing him, I half expected as much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just what he wanted to be executed by his own daughter? Hmm. Right about ten years ago, I feel sorry about what happened to you. But revenge! Hmm. Nobody could possibly know what I've... What in the world? An explosion! Uh-oh. I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I been had? Oh yeah, it's because of the fucking thing. Look out! Revenge, huh? That's a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not. You're not him. She's right. I'm not him, am I? He was going to shoot Detective Jowd as Kamala when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Hmm. Anyway, let's bring you back to life again. <laughs> you don't have to add that again apart. Yes, I did. <laughs> How many times tonight, huh? Again. How many times? The fucking dying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Oh boy. I 
don't even have anywhere to go. Right? <laughs> so let's see. The cause of death this time. What was that mysterious explosion? You're pretty up for a dead one. You know how detectives love a good mystery? It's like a shot of vitamins. Sure. And what do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway. I guess we should look for a way to stop that explosion. Alright, let's do this thing. Finding clues is like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I don't even know what the fuck vitamins or minerals are. Don't know what the fuck she's saying. What is she saying? Right. He's just like, what is she saying? I don't know what this means. <laughs> oh, we have to wait until the gun. Oh, shit. Oh, I think I missed sense. my chance. Wait. Maybe until she moves it pointing. Okay. Come on. Hmm. Yeah, I thought we could use that. Like, yeah. What are you talking about? The bees are gonna have to be off the hook first, silly. Oh. oh. But don't look at me. I can't do it. I don't have any hands or feet right now. Damn, no feet. You want something done, you have to do it yourself. Um. Okay, no fun, I guess. Yeah. I think I have to wait for the explosion. Because it does go off the receiver, doesn't it? I think it does. Please, someone pick up the phone. Whoa. Am I supposed to go? Oh, fuck. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we're supposed to turn a bunch of these things. Maybe. I could have swore this thing goes down, though. I guess we'll find out in a second. Hamha! Sorry, I Whoa. forgot mix it up is not on. I think... Is that it? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I forgot to try and mix it up yeah, on. Yes, yeah. Um, I might have to be on. I'm gonna let it play out because I feel like. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're on the last chapter. Oh yeah, she has to fucking move the gun. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I wouldn't have let me until she moves the gun. I love the fucking way that she's standing even. Right, I love that the, the the fucking hand on her on her hip. It's so good. I could have swore we did have to go to the phone, but like maybe after. Eh, maybe. I don't remember what do. Running the handle. 
Aha! Aha! Ha. That, okay. Ha. Ha. Does being possessed give her super strength? Probably, I'm guessing. Hey, we somehow managed to knock down the receiver. Somehow managed? Who's to say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry! Now's your chance to get onto the phone. I'll be Detective Jowd. Oh. Yeah, she's right. I better check that out. The fuck is it? Hello? Anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. I'm gonna hand that gun to the tapper size. <laughs> Speak up. Why don't you answer? Anyway, come here. Yeah, I'll go there, Let's sure. See, yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's going on over there? Let's see. So it must be what they, true what they say, that there are restless ghosts on board. It's me. I'm the restless ghost. That does it. I Ooh. promise to turn over a new leaf, Mom. How are you going to leave? We're in the water. You can't leave. Where are you going? Where the fuck are you going? Who is he calling restless ghost? Well, it's true that neither one of us is really resting in peace. Anyway, it looks like the sub just lost one of its crew. He, he's going to die hmm. if he leaves. I guess that means the fate of the sub has changed slightly. Sure. We'll say that. Sizzle's under it. Okay, we saw this. He left his bargaining chip here. Yeah. That has looked like they were putting something up his ass. <laughs> oh, wait, they were saying some new stuff there. Hey, the man in red is about to give his terms. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, we've already seen that. that. Wait, does that, doesn't that mean, um, someone should be here? Shit. Okay. Ugh. Oh. Gotta go quick. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, you're stuck. Oh no, you're stuck. Um. Well, maybe the fragment will come down here so you can grab it. Oh yeah! Yeah! Maybe you're supposed to be on the fragment? I don't remember. We... I will see where it goes. Yeah, see, it looks like it was Oh, yeah! <laughs> it's different. Oh, I guess, yeah, we are supposed to be over here because then we... Oh my god, they're stuffed in there. Ah, the Temzik friends. Fragment, you're mine at last. Okay, buddy. You do realize you have to die, right? The objective has been achieved. Now we attach the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. Sissel, what just happened? The room just disappeared with the Jowd in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Jowd can take care of himself. He's fighting a monster right now. That's what's happening. The main thing right now is rescuing you and the little lady. Can't believe this is happening. Now then, I better hurry along before Sissel discovers what he's lost and comes after me. You know what will be his coffin? May it lie buried here in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. Okay, he's going. Hmm. There he goes. Yep. Ah, so that's the cause of the giant explosion. Huh? What is? Don't tell me you, that's another thing you've forgotten. The torpedo! It's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, right? That's a dog. Yeah, it's the dog. 
<laughs> Looks like he planned to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something about that before the torpedo is fired. Okay. Um. Okay. Lower. Hold on. Okay. Missile moment! Hell yeah, missile. This isn't our missile, though. There's no... T oh. There's no time. It's gonna launch. Don't worry. We can stop find a way to stop it. How? Even if the torpedo does launch, we just have to tr stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do. I hope! Why was the I hope at the end the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here goes! Let's go! Yeah. Let's get launched! <laughs> it fucking fires on itself. RAT! There's a rat! There's a rat! Kill the rat! No, these rats are indestructible. <laughs> I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought. But was this really the best move? I think so. You just have to keep it from going off, right? Yeah, it's the rat. I'm sure this poor little rat will thank us too. How the fuck did it get in here? We don't know. How <laughs> did the rat get here? I think these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. The spinning black things, right? Apparently, their spinning helps the torpedo maintain its balance. It must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we, we could use the weights to our advantage somehow. Ah! Rat! Hmm, this just looks like the thing. If you clamp these things on the fuse, it should keep it from moving. So what does that mean exactly? It means we might be able to stop the torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit, I don't understand all the details. But I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that... Looks like we have to get that fucking rat out of the way. Oh my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Why is the rat so buff? Right? It's a stubborn little thing, isn't it? Oh my god. <laughs> Quite a worthy adversary. Quite a worthy adversary. <laughs> right? You don't know the rat isn't the main focus here, right? Okay, true. When Toad's out of the way, we can't set the safety device. Yeah, this rat has to- You're right! Rat if only our missile was here right now! We have to get this little creature to leave somehow. Pretty sure we have to stop it perfectly. Come on. <laughs> Please! Oh! Don't press the- Okay. Oh. Oops. Um... Okay, don't press that. Okay, we probably have to stop the gyroscopes at the same position, maybe? Yeah, probably. I don't know if I... I don't know. Can I, like... Oh, thank god, at least it put us in here. Yeah. Okay. Fucking buff ass. I feel rat. like. Oh, wait. Um, you have to operate. probably stop both gyroscopes. Oh, yes, yes. Actually, I just realized I was saying the wrong button. You fucking rat. Okay, that's one.
Fuck this rat! They might both have to be on the same side. Yeah. To make it uneven. I'm hoping that if it gets uneven, it'll like make the rat slide. Yeah. Okay, so that's... Oh! Uh. Okay. Okay. Great. We've dumped the little creature off. Wow! These weights were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. We've clamped the safety device on. We did it! That should stop the torpedo from exploding. There's one problem. Problem? The torpedo's still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh, uh. It's still gonna hit, but it won't explode. Yeah. Well, that's probably actually a good thing. What was that noise? Hmm. Looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine. But it looks like the submarine is still okay. This changes everybody's fate, including the little rats! Sissel, we did it! Fate averted! Hmm. Hmm. Huh. What's the matter? You still looking happy? We stopped the torpedo from blowing up. But we still opened up a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm. You're right. I guess... I guess that's just what missiles do! They're unstoppable! Am I hearing things? Hole? I guess we'd better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Right. I'm worried about Kamala. Did you just forget about the whole last dog? M Although he probably- <laughs> We managed to stop death for now, but it hasn't disappeared altogether. It's now short, slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water is seeping in through the hole the torpedo hit. I've got to get him out of here. I'd better go meet up with Lynn. Um. Wait, okay. No. The lights went out, but the machine apparently still works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long. Maybe I can use the movements to create a path. Yes, that was the plan. Oh, wait. Oh my god, there we go. I hope that's Kamala and not a fucking ghost. Yeah, um... Lynn! Kamala, you're awake! How do you feel? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you! Don't worry about that. That wasn't you. Miss Kamala! Oh, Missile, you're here! Oh, poor Miss Kamala! Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too! I'm so happy everybody's going to be here with me now. Are you? We might all die. Passes the okay, fuck okay. out. Camilla! Miss Camilla! She's just a little guy. I'll get you out of here. Might have also it's been a bitch last... since she ate. Right? If it's the last thing I do, because you ate a whole ass chicken. She is, she's is. she been running around this entire time. Oh, I think I'm yeah. going to cry. Or whimper in or that. Or whimper, as the case may be. Oh my god, you're so mean to her. 
I better send a signal to Lynn that I'm here. Before it's too late. Oh, beep beep, hello. <laughs> Hey, flashlight. Hey. Look over here. Pick me up. Oh, look at that flashlight. It's Sissel. He's here. Hi. Yeah, I'm the flashlight. Up you go. And remember to maybe grab Missile, too. I know he can reach <laughs> farther, but still. Poor Missile. I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. Looks like the room's gonna fill up with water fast. Uh, we better get out that door as quick as we can. We don't be getting out that door, I'm afraid. The water pressure's too great already. I can't open it. What? Oh, fuck. What does water pressure mean? I think it was a force of water holding the door closed. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Exactly. All right, I got it. Let's look for a path that goes up. Start climbing. Hey, look at this ladder. I wonder if we can get it down here somehow. Good idea. Let's try. Oh, um, by the way. Yeah. I can't swim. Neither can Kamala. Don't you have any good news for me? No. <laughs> Let me think about it in the meantime. Could you hurry, please? I'm gonna die again. Again. <laughs> again. <laughs> Just like, please? Okay. Oh, that did lower that. Fuse Open box. That, yeah. Alright, get up. You did it, Sissel! Thanks! Climb! Hurry the, the water. fuck up, you can't swim. You know? Oh my <gasps> god! This little fucking... What was that? Looks like water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Huh? Sizzle, the flashlight doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the contacts are bad or something. I know. You can fix it with your powers. Okay. Now that's just taking things too far. Yeah, maybe the fuse box. We can yeah. get a light on. And... It does nothing but this, which is just a door. There's a door here, too. But it's stuck or something. I can't open it. I'll leave it to your superhuman strength, Detective. Hmm. Close this. Hey, wait. If I open that, and then... Try to move that. And then... What happens if I close that over it? Okay, never mind. It just yeah. magically is able to close. Oh wait, turn on. No, so I can't. Can turn on the oh what? It, when I did it earlier, it, it just made the beep. It, it did the noise <laughs> thingy. Fuck you. Yeah. Oh hey, great. Did you used to be an electrician in your past life or something? It's a cruel question, considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do. Let's get to that door and we're safe. She fucking threw the flashlight. She threw us. You threw me. Girl, please don't die again. Ugh. Oh, that must have hurt. Ouch. Oh. What happened now? Looks like the submarine has decided to rear up on its hind legs. Can't believe we're still okay after all that fall. 
Either we're really lucky or we're dead and we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. Oh boy. What now? The water sure is rising fast! Come on. You just have to go up, up to the top. Let's see how I can help with my ghost tricks. Okay. Well, well. I think I see a familiar flame over there. Missile, please. Why aren't you helping? Sissel, there you are! How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it was going pretty badly. You do understand how dangerous this situation is, don't no, you? No, I don't. I'm a dog. Of course, after all. Just ask anybody who knows me how much I hate taking baths. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning before himself. He doesn't know what a okay. bath is. Ready to create a path for these ladies? <laughs> he's just like, what's a bath? Of course! <laughs> I love Sissel um, just being like, what is this? I don't know what anything is. <laughs> I don't remember if I'm supposed to be swapping these or not. I'm just trying shit. Like, what yeah, happens? Sure. I can't. <laughs> Please. Oh, hey, another one I can swap. Small, medium. Okay, I've, now I've said it to be small, medium, large. I don't know if that's the correct order. We'll switch to some pipes. Oh, why not? Why not? I, I don't know what I'm doing. Why not? Yeah, just in case. Pick up the flashlight, please. Okay, thank you. Oh! Hey! She let me over! Oh wait, you can see the starter. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh! Oh, hey, I did it! <laughs> yeah! There, how about that? Fuck yeah. Wow, that's great! You made a staircase for me! And I- totally on purpose! Great. I don't think the water's gonna wait for you. It's totally something I knew ahead of time and not something that I was like, haha, let's put them in order. <laughs> Takes all the credit while this will do it. <laughs> like, oh yeah, shit. I did. Um, I'm starting to remember something about the pipes. Oh, and I messed no. up the swap order. Oh no. Um. Oh no. Um, I don't remember how this is supposed to- Now the steam is getting in the way. It's too hot to get through. What? What? Oh. oh and there's okay. no way to go around either. Think you can do something? Of course we can. Oh no. We, we have to. But Okay, so we have to swap the pipes. Yeah. Um, um... I'm- I'm stuck down here, aren't I? I think so. Okay, so you need the pipe that's going down to be on the bottom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Listen, y'all, you don't have to tell me what to do. Fucking in-game characters that I I understand. I un okay. That one's going up. Okay, so 
That one's both. Okay, so that's yeah, good. That one's in the right place as well. Yeah. Um. Yo. I think. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best! Here comes the water again! Oh, I wish I could drink it all up for you! No missile, it's too salty! I think the more relevant point is that he's dead, so he can't drink it. Whatever, just do something about the steam. Leave it to me, Miss Lynn. Thanks, Missile. Um, I can't okay, even rewind so I time. The pipe that you're on has to go to the top. Okay. So that one has to be switched until it's on the top. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's wrong now. Yeah, me neither. What happens if I just whip these two? I, I don't know what's wrong now. Um, I was hoping that maybe... I'm also not reading this because I was just like... Hmm. I was hoping that maybe like it, it would tell her. Um, maybe I have to turn stuff off now. Um. Oh boy. Oh no, the water's getting really close now. Not that I can see that well in the steam down here. Oh no, missile's gonna switch the pipes. Can I, like... I don't know what the fuck is wrong. Yeah, right? Is that one supposed to be... Is it because there's a little bit coming out of that one? I don't know. Oh, well. Oh, fucked up. Yep. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> whoops. 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 We're just, haha, <laughs> that didn't happen. That didn't happen. Haha. <laughs> Trick time. Okay, um. So it's supposed to be in an X pattern, I think, so. Yeah, it moved us. Oh, yeah, I think that also helps us, too. Because, oh, oh, we couldn't turn it off. Yeah, we couldn't turn it off before. I think that's what it was. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. It was. I think it was because we're supposed to turn it off, and we pretty much couldn't. Oh, so we turned that one off. Okay, so yeah. that one should be the longest one then, if we yeah. can turn that one off. Yep, there we go. It was because um, I couldn't get Sissel up there, there. and so Where's I got soft locked. Off? Yeah. Whoops. Here we go. Looks great. All that horrible steam's cleared out of the way. Alright, it's not that far now. Try to move forward. Ouch. We're almost free! Look up there! If we can just make it to that door, we can escape! Now, how in the world am I going to get up there? Don't yell at me. If you want to yell, you can yell at me. Missile. How can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? I think you just did. Let's look for something to pull Miss Lynn up with. Something to whisk Miss Lynn up and glide her ever so gently to the top. Hey, are you being sarcastic? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. 
so we can probably do the switch. And switch these, maybe. Oh wait, maybe missile can switch that with us on it. No. Um, oh, you can't. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can't fuck. How do we get out? Ah. Okay, if I switch this... Oh no, we can't turn it on. Okay. We can't open... Okay, but if you open this... And then we... Aha! There we go. Alright! Now this is what I'm talking about! Okay, raise away! Sorry, I can't do it. Open it. Hurry! Is that any way to ask for something? I'm going to die again. Oh, wait. Move off that. <laughs> it's no use. I can't budge it. It must be stuck. No! No! This way! Who's saying that? What in the fuck? The nani the fuck? Whoa? Nani the fuck? What's that? What the fuck just happened? I can't believe my eyes. Wind and the little lady suddenly, suddenly vanished. Leaving only darkness and seawater. The submarine continues to sink down. Down into the deep, deep sea. But I still want to try and make my way up. As far as possible. I still want to head up. To find a single ray of light. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. Oh wait, okay, next chapter is the last chapter. I can count. Okay, great. It's 5.10 a.m. The upended submarine continues to sink, slowly but surely, a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Hi, Tequila. Lynn and the little lady found the darkness and, and the seawater closing in on them. But at the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks down at them quietly. Hi, Tequila. My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? Hey, we, I remember something moving like this before. Ray. <laughs> Wait. I see you managed to survive, Detective. Hey, you're... I love this fucking fake body. Mm -hmm. Excuse my appearance. I seem to have lost my body. Tequila. She's nuzzling the iPad. <laughs> oh, and you there? You're the ghost who's been saving Lynn all this evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course. What else would explain all those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about it all this time? And how come you decided to save all of us so suddenly? I thought you wanted to get revenge on us. Hmm. Well, I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell me. I need to know.
Who in the, the world are you? Thistle, look at you. What happened? I can't hold on to that image of myself any longer. You can't remember who you are, huh? That's right. I came all this way tonight, trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit of tonight, I thought I was you, Thistle. Thistle, huh? That's not even my real name. It's not Thistle. I bet you'll remember really soon who you are and who I am too. What? The man in front of me is not me. I'm even, even further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind. A memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. They got us good. It's all over for the submarine. Its engine room is destroyed. There's a hole in the ho hole. And it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already know of what they wanted now. It sounds like fragment. I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, that meteorite radiation has two effects on living creatures. It gives powers and time. Don't mind, we'd like to hear more. These ten years, I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research. I think I've got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers. Like possession and manipulating like objects. and manipulating objects. Oops. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparitions. Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers we get. It seems that powers change as time goes on. They do? The fuck? Yeah. My powers have changed over these past ten years. Of course, I could only manipulate small living creatures. Now then. How do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. It is? How then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emitted by the meteorite. It's radiation. That's what does it. Dying while being exposed to the radiation? On that day ten years ago? A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart and I died. So of course I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute! Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. <laughs> this was run over right there. Yeah. And that's why his powers are stronger than Sissel's. It's because he died next to the meteorite. Aren't the Tamsic remnants still there in the bottom of the park? You're... You're right. So that must mean... I must have died in the presence of the meteorite's radiation, too. Another effect the meteorite radiation has on us is it gives us time. Again, I think this time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all that clear. So the fact that I can return to four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite. Hmm. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is its ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Ah, this is so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. I'm just a dog. Yeah, strange and confusing. That just sums about every... the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to meteorite fragment. The very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because of it remained inside me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, 
My body was constantly cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? My body's vital function stopped 10 years ago. But my body's time is perpetually stopped at the moment just before death. Time just stopped, huh? So I just simply existed. Not really alive. Not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me. Ever since that incident in the park. My body hasn't aged a day. My hair hasn't grown an inch. Just like Edward Cullen. <laughs> Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. So I guess as soon as an incision was made, his body would regenerate. Wow. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal I made, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister, made him execute the execution order. I thought he might call off the executions last minute. So that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. They kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know. They had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everyone who had to do with Tamzik. Detective Jad was such a happy person, was such a person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Cabanella and Junkyard Super, but they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... As one of the targets as well. So they stole my Tamzik fragment and here I am. Fucked up body. But they had one more final target. You, detective. Me? One final target. If you weren't there in the park ten years ago. I never would have thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay. But I was just a little kid playing in the park. Hmm. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, I became a detective looking into Jad's case. Tonight I invited you to a quiet spot on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see. I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day ten years ago, so of course you didn't recognize me. I took possession of you to make you shoot me. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. For the first time I was able to control somebody completely. The aim was off and the first shot missed the mark. Face down, ass up. <laughs> the junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanted for murder. That was my plan anyway. And then they were going to have you shot. Yeah, that means that um, this guy had to have watched Sissel save her. Because he yeah. had to be sitting there being like, what in the fuck? But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, somebody threw a big monkey wrench into their scheme. <laughs> I showed up. I was supposed to meet up with him after that, but then something went wrong. What happened? 
My body disappeared. Uh, the inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back no matter what. The inspector caused me no end of trouble. But they were... Why were those people targeting me? I never even heard of Temzik Meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jowd case. They thought you would find out about Temzik sooner or later. And that's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for water pressure to crush this submarine. Oh no. There are no cores that link from here to the water surface. I have an idea. We hook up the an idea. Oh, sorry. we hook up the phone line and There are no communication cables down this deep. They meant for the submarine to be my coffin, a coffin for the dead. There's no escape. Hmm. I think I kind of understand now. How you've been feeling these ten years. You what? This feeling cut off from the world all alone in a submarine? Sinking slowly towards a bottomless, endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Hmm. Oh. Lynn? Go back to bed. C Camilla, is it true we're stuck here? What? Oh, ha, no. Um. My dad? My dad was here. I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camilla, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. Hmm, what is it, Sissel? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go to all of the trouble of detaching the control room? He said his name isn't Sissel, but that's been the name he's been giving to people. But he also just called you Sissel. Yeah. What? Why? Why didn't they just steal the Temzik fragment and escape, if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm. That's a good question. I guess it doesn't matter now. We'll never find it again. No idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute! But yes we do! This will tell us where Detective Jout is! The present from the Inspector in White. That's right! Detective Jout told me to hold on for him! And the bullet is still in the person's body in the command room, right? And we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. But even if we find out where it is, how do we get there? We should be able to figure something out between the three of us with our powers, right, Miss Lynn? Right. Oh, wait a minute. What about the torpedo? A torpedo. In any case, it's too early to give up. Hmm. Looks like Detective Jout is our last hope. Come on, let's get started. <laughs> hey, grapes. Do you, do you guys want grapes? Yeah, I'm feeding you guys. Especially, she has not eaten in so long. Oh my god! The torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left there. I'll go check it out. I get it! You're going to use a missile to ram the control room! Well, I don't know about ram. We don't want to blow Detective Jout up, but something like that. We'll climb up to the torpedo room. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there then. Oh my god, all the exhibition's finally done. The fuck I am. It looks like the torpedoes can be latched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so they might there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we do is load into into the tube. When I comes to missiles, you can count on me! Onto the coordinates of the command room into the torpedo.
and I just turned on the backup power. We ought to be able to use the switches now. Okay, let's try it. Good luck! The switch won't budge. Maybe it's broken? I don't think the entire device is broken, though. Probably work just fine if I could move the switch. I'll have to find a way to move it somehow. But I can't do it with my powers alone. Hey, missile. Time to pull your- What happened to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength, Missile? Me? Of course I will. Count on it. Aha. Uh -huh. So, let's see. Okay, so. No, stop it. Move you off there. Swap. No. I want to go up around y'all. Okay, there we go. There we go. That torpedo looks serviceable. All set on this end, too. But something's odd. What is? The command room. It looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, like it's completely run out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know. But I guess I'll find out. Right. Okay. Hop into the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay. Thank you. I've already set the torpedo's course. It'll head towards the command room where Detective Jout is. Twelve seconds after launching, it'll pass by the command room for an instant. That instant will be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay. I got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. Oops. That'll probably be my last task for tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Okay. Come on, Missile. Missile? Hi. I'm sorry, I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Cam Lynn and Camelot behind. I can't do it! Missile. I swapped the switches so the missile can be launched. You have to do the rest, Miss uh, Sissel. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn, your staying here won't change our fate. If you go with Sissel, you might be able to make something happen, and that's our only hope. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again, never, ever again. Even I can understand that. I I couldn't stand that. Don't don't worry, Missel. Miss Camilla, I just know you and Sissy can make something happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. We'll see each other then. Don't worry. Miss Camilla! Aww. <laughs> That's a good boy, Missile. Now, are you ready? Remember, it's 12 seconds after I throw the switch. We're ready. Sissel? Yes. You never found out who you, you really were, but that doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. And I'm glad I met you, Detective. We're going to see each other again, right, sissy? Right, Missile? That's right. We promise, a little lady. Of course we will! I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here it goes, then. Good luck, friend. All right. Let's get fucking launched.
These 12 seconds are lasting an eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. Did Ray stow aboard too? <laughs> They're really lucky they managed to do that. What? <laughs> they just go. Whoop. Detective Jow. Bet that big masked man did this. I'm gonna bite him. You better not. You might break your teeth. The command room has lost power and is sinking. So I wonder what this masked man is going to do. Let's talk to Detective Jowd! Sorry for the wait, Detective Jowd. Who, who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. Can't believe you made it here. How is Kamala? And what about Lynn? Well... It's kind of a long story. I told Detective Jowd about everything that happened on the submarine you know of. So the submarine is badly damaged? What would he do that to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I know the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. Hey, you came with us! You left them alone! You followed us? I didn't even notice. It's been ten long years, Detective Jowd. Hmm. Are you... Yamiel? Yeah, because he never actually said. He was like, yeah, his name wasn't Sissel. Yeah. And then we never found out the name. So, you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's your real name, huh? Yamiel. That's right. But those people on the Yanoa were calling you Sissel? That's just an alias I was using to deal with them. I didn't see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you. Right, Detective Jowd? Right. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems and engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm a top Pomeranian, you know? I love the line. So much. Right? <laughs> well, it's kind of hard to explain to a dog, but... It's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to brag, but I was one of the best in the industry. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project? What project? It's a project aimed at reorganizing the nation's top secret info. The goal was to build a new system using multidimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the program by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounds like another challenging job. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crimes the to nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public, but every organization in the country moved on this one. And then, one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of those systems. The police arrested you, and then the incident happened. He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lin as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jowd, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm sorry, Yamil. Ten years ago. Oh. My soul was split from my body and I lost everything. I was sealed in eternal darkness. I existed in that world, no question about that. 
but nobody noticed my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made things worse. I wanted to disappear, but it wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. And so that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was like to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? Hmm. It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mind to make a deal. The deal. There's something I don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be valuable to them. But, what would you get out of the deal? Hmm, a new life. Life? I asked them for two conditions. Number one was that they helped me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A new beginning, huh? I didn't care if it was fake life. An artificial life. I wanted a physical receptacle for my soul. A name and an identity in everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I asked them for. Hmm. Com completely man-made life, huh? That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it would take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask the national government to help me. And the response in the end was betrayal. They were making their moves such more carefully than I expected. They sent countries, spies to this country and researched my own powers on their own. And then they even figured out what Tamzik was all about. And you had no idea what they were doing. They were doing all this? Not at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go to all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of the Tamzik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incident, researchers research was conducted in this country too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By uh, Inspector Cabanella and that old pigeon guy, huh? At first the government didn't believe the report. But then they decided to put the park under surveillance, just in case. Surveillance, huh? It just looks like an ordinary peaceful park, but there are armed agents there at all times. Is this motherfucker an agent? Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. No, 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 not him. He's just a plain <laughs> old person. He's fucking weirdo. He's just some weird guy. <laughs> yeah. That park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Tempic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of building a housing site, they've been working on a plan to destroy the park in order to secure the Tempic meteorite. So that's it, huh? So, the upshot of your grand deal was this, huh? Yeah, it's the ending I deserve. But at least there's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away at the bottom of the sea forever. Hmm. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bringing the type of Jog back to life, of course. What? What good will that do now? But we promised! We promised Miss Lynn and Miss Camelot we'd save them! We can't do that without you, Detective Jog. Hmm. I've been guided by fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. All right, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Hmm. Here we go, then. Back to four minutes before your death.
So, where are we headed? We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There was only enough fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We will run out soon, and that will Oops. be our destination. Then, what are you talking about? That would mean that you're trapped here, too. A fucking robot. By the way, I am not human, Detective. I am a remote-controlled robot, Detective. What? The country's use of technology is just plain off. We get that a lot. Why would you go to all this trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell. There, there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to provide against any possibility. No matter how small the tech is. Possibility? What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know the tech. Oh, shit. Now it is time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. Ugh. Pamela, forgive me. It isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what that big masked man said? Any possibility, no matter how small. Possibility? In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. The possibility of turning the situation around. Hmm. Huh? What is it, Detective? Look at Yamiel's shell. There's... There's no aura emanating from his body. Of course there isn't. The Temzik fragment is gone. Could this change in his shell give us some kind of lead? Let's go! Hmm. I figured it out. I know what this possibility, no matter how small, is that they're afraid of. What is it? My time was perpetually stopped thanks to the power of Tamzik. His body cycled between the moments that separated his life and death. Right, but not anymore. The Tamzik fragment has been taken away. I exactly. So, what does that mean? I get it. Your body won't come back to life anymore. The moment the Tamzik fragment was removed, my shell became a regular corpse. So, let's see. That means we can go back. Back to four minutes before your death. But wait a minute! Exactly when is that death? That's simple. We'll find out when we get there. Let's move! We're in it! We're in it! We're in the final oh stretch! Oh I was right! The last two things would take us like two hours! <laughs> yeah. I fell back through the cracks of time for what seemed like forever, and then I saw it. The final death at the end of this long night. After this, I want to tally up how many people you saved, because I want to see if you're right. Who exactly am I? I've already seen all of the clues. All I have to do now is remember. The final journey to the truth starts now. I want to see if it adds up to nine, but we're going to have to pull up, like, the pictures of each person. <laughs> yeah. Final chapter. <laughs> Tequila, not yet. It's not food time yet. When was Yamiel's death? It was ten years ago, when the Temzik meteorite fell. Yeah, he sure died in a pose. Yeah. 
Uh, hey, look, things we can swap around already. We traveled back through time, and now we're here at the scene of that death. The start of it all is about to replay itself. Oh, she's just roasting sweet potatoes in the park! She wasn't even just playing, she was making food! It's so cute. Give it up. Do you really think you can outrun me? Now just calm down and drop that weapon. Stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Get yet! <laughs> huh? Oh, a kitten. Shoot, you might get hurt. Hey, there's the kitty cat on our screen. No wonder he died in such a way. That thing fucking slammed into his back at mock speeds. Yeah. Are you okay? What about the cat? You're alright now. Are you hurt? You, you saved me, mister. I was just doing my job. The gods, they were the ones who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. You gave this girl complex congratulations. So, that's the Thameslik Meteorite, huh? It's beautiful, looking at it from this angle. It changed all of our fates completely. We can't stop Thameslik from falling from the sky. But we might be able to protect you from that fragment and save your life. Hmm. I don't know. What's the matter, Detective Gow? To be perfectly honest, I'm scared. If that meteor fragment doesn't get him. Pretty sure I would have shot him. Hmm. We not be, be able to change your fate of dying. Hmm. I can accept that. What he did was in inexcusable. No matter how the future might change, that fact will never go away. If my fate is to die here, then I accept that. This will be our last battle against fate. You know, if they're successful, that means that all of these people for 10 years will have the thoughts of a failed timeline that never happened. So, like, you know, yeah. fucking all of them will. Beyond that will be a new future. Yeah, let's get started! Okay. I think- I'm pretty sure we can't do anything for now- yeah. So, now, how are we gonna save you? If Ling would just wander off somewhere, that would solve everything. When her sweet potato is almost done- haha! <laughs> she's not the type to- she's not gonna budge from that spot. But you know, it makes me wonder. Little girl alone at a park, listening to music and roasting a sweet potato? What kind of channel did this girl have? Doesn't everybody have at least one day in their life like that? Give her a break! It's because he goes to a dog park. Anyway, if Lynn won't budge from that spot... Then we'll just have to have the fragment dead. Yeah, all of them always remember the timelines that, like, happened, basically. Especially if they're aware that they have died and they were, like, conscious for it. So, like... To me, something that, like, this little girl's going to remember for, like, ten fucking years. And you're like, hmm. Yeah, she's going to have a lot in her brain. Kitty. Um. Okay, play that. <laughs> what are you doing? You're going to hurt poor Miss Camilla's ear. Or Miss, Miss Lynn's ears. So I'm sorry, I wasn't thinking. You really startled her. You even made her drop her sweet potato. I know how much this girl loves her food, too. Anyway. 
At least her fate has changed, albeit ever so slightly. Okay, so <laughs> now we can get over here. Hey, buddy, what are you doing here? Okay, rock that. Boop. Sweet potato. Okay, spray. Oh, wait, what is this? Another nozzle. Damn. I thought I could, like, swap them. Yeah, I hope so. Oh, wait, now oh. I can spray. It. Oh, look at that sweet potato! That big, scary sweet potato! That's not a sweet potato missile. That's me. You know. Oh, right, of course. But look at them. The potato and Mino, right now they have the same shape. So you're saying you could swap them, huh? Good idea, missile. Okay, here I go. I'm going to need your help. My help? I think I fucked up already. Yep, I fucked up. Hold on. I was supposed to be on the potato. Oh, no. I realized after that, I was like, I'm pretty sure there's something I'm doing wrong here. Okay. Um, that's on... No! Oh no. How did I get it right that first time by accident? What the fuck? Okay, so... Stupid potato. No, I... Get off the potato... Uh, the, the basket. Okay. Move over here. Bye. Okay, now I get on it. Move down. Uh, move up. Okay, I can't- Okay, right. So, to move to him, I'm going to spray. Swap. Um. Hell yeah. That was quite a sight to see. Looks like this park just got a new feature. A near one of them glanced over this way. Guess it's not surprising, seeing as even a meteorite didn't distract them. Hey, it was a desperate situation. Kill or be killed. I want a sweet potato too, actually, you know. And Yamio is killed. Right after this. By the meteorite. Well, now that the park has a new feature... Can we use it to our advantage in any way? Come on. How do I... S Why do I not remember... Okay, spray. Okay. It's no use. I can't get any water to come out. Well, we can see why not. Yeah, the overwhelming presence of Mino there. If only we could use it to advantage somehow. How do I? Hmm. If we turn the other nozzles on, would it stop? Yeah. Whoops, that's not what I want to do. I can't even reach it! Oh, no. Help! Oh no. Oh no. 
Oh my god, was I supposed to fucking move myself afterwards? Oh fuck. I don't know how though. Yeah. Okay, what's gonna happen? Uh, yeah, that's about what I expected. Oh, okay, yeah, I wasn't supposed to unpause time. I was supposed to do the swap again rather than, um... Okay, to do this again. Please don't do that! Oh my god. I just thought maybe it would wake her up. <laughs> He's so mad. Whoops. Okay. Okay, I'm going to swap these, and then swap this with that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that! The lamppost is bending. But it hasn't broken yet! It really is a wonder it hasn't snapped. Just might hold out a little while longer. If I recall. Is that- she's just going to get crushed by this instead. The Temzic fragment smashed through the glass lantern on its way down. But if Mino sits firmly in its way, then fate should change. I guess we can just wait. Yeah, now we just wait. I'm gonna watch the meteorite hit this. Mm-hmm. And then Mino crushes this one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, um, Yao Mio. The fucking Mino keeps trying to kill people. That's a wrathful god. It's about time for the meteorite to come down. Don't worry, missile. I think we're ready for it. Look what's right in the fragment's path. Oh, okay, the giant sweet potato. If anything can get in the way, it's that ugly monster can. Ouch. Anyway. Now the fragment's path ought to change. Come on! God, it's so funny how much Mino wants to kill. How many- how many lives has Mino taken? <laughs> Boom. There. How's that? Look! The fragment's course! It changed a little! Now Yamil's fate should have changed. Hey, wait a minute. Um, take another look at the fragment's trajectory. Now that it's changed, what's in its path? In its path? Oh no. Oh, his leg! Oh, right in his cock! <laughs> it hit his knee! <laughs> Not his- Okay, well, it looked like it was going for his dick, I'm sorry. <laughs> the Temzic fragment shot through his leg. What? But the cruel twists of fate weren't over yet. Come on, put it down. He's huh? still holding the fucking gun. Jiao, put the gun down now. If you don't, you're going to shoot him. I don't know if it's his detective training or what. But even though he's shaking from the pain, the gun doesn't waver. Put the gun down! Fuck! 
I knew it. This is my true fate. In the end, I stole his life away with my own hands. Missile. The bullet stopped in midair. Inside the bullet! Now let's swap it with something! W what With what? Detective Jowd. The meteorite fragment is what made you pull the trigger. We won't let you become a murderer. We have to prove that murder isn't the detective's true fate. And to do that, we have to stop this bullet. There must be something with the same shape as the bullet around here. The sweet potato! He just got fucking spat! Oh my oh, god, he got oh stabbed no. in the back by that! Oh no! <laughs> he keeps dying! Oh no! <laughs> He stopped the bullet, but we still couldn't save him. That's not true. Huh? My fate of getting pierced to the back might not have changed, but I'm still alive. The fuck? What? I'm not dead, I'm just unconscious. Yeah, that just hurts real bad. Yeah, he might okay, just be, you know, so paralyzed. Yes, kind of changed, but still. His fate is pretty painful to watch. In every sense. I don't think so. As long as I'm alive, that's good enough for me. But we we're overlooking one thing. The wheel of fate was still slowly turning. Yeah. <laughs> Wake up! You gotta get out of there! Damn it, my leg won't work. It's all over! We're out of time! Miss Lynn! It's not a- oh wait! It's not over yet. But there isn't anything else to swap with! Why don't we let it play out and then try to find another way next time? And if she dies, all you have to do is possess her corpse, and then you can redo her last four minutes as many times as it takes. No, I won't do that. Why not? Sure, the fact of her death would be erased. But her memory of it would remain. Like a star oh, of her so it is true. She will remember all of this stuff. I won't let that happen. Not if I can help it. Um, sorry, but you do realize by saving her, we're gonna put all of them future memories that didn't happen. But what can we do <laughs> now? You need to be work together. I think there might be something that can be done. Oh yeah, he can still control bodies. What is it? I can sizzle and I do. Don't forget, I'm here too. With three kinds of powers among us, we ought to be able to fight, fight, fight this battle. This battle against the fate of death! Y'all me all. Sissel, your powers of manipulating objects. Use your power to manipulate this. I don't get it. Oh, we're gonna try to make it in the same... Just trust me, let's go. Alright. Let's fucking do it. Okay, so, now gather your strength and make it spray as if your life depended on it. Uh, I'm dead though. In that case, make it spray as if your death depended on it. Give it your all. And remember, okay, you'll only have a split cool. second. Okay, now do it. Got it. Now's your turn, Missile. What? A uh, me? What can I do? Oh, no. I think you know the answer to that. Okay, got it! You can swap them. The hunk of concrete will go back to its original position. But if I swap them, it'll be right above Miss Camilla. Don't worry. Okay, I'll do it, I'll swap them. No use! We can't stop that horrible Mino! Mino what can we do kill. now? <laughs> I can't see how this getting a second or two helped. Oh, it helped, alright. Those few seconds were exactly what I wanted. Last up, it's my turn. Your they forgot. Turn. He... Him. He's been sitting on his fucking body. You know what my power is, right? I can manipulate living creatures. Wait a minute, you mean... That's right! I'm gonna save that little girl. Save her by manipulating my own unconscious body.
Oh my god, he's gonna fucking die. Oh well, no, nope, he's, he's still alive. He's just his he's, just his, his legs, legs are crushed. Ye gods. Yeah, <laughs> Mino, Mino out for blood. Mino wants to kill so bad, dude. Mino wanted death. Ah, you're awake. The amount of times that stupid rock has tried to kill. <laughs> is your knee okay? Huh, it'll be fine. It's just a scrape. I'm lucky it wasn't a fatal hit, but the main thing is you're not hurt. You, you saved me, mister! I was just doing my job. The gods, they're the one who saved you. What's your job, mister? Me? I'm a police detective. Do you think you could go call the police for me? I think you could do it quicker than I could, but... What's that? This is a detective's badge. We give them to children who've been very brave. Detective's badge? It's the one she's still wearing to this day. Thanks! Okay, you know what to do, little lady. Little detective. Oh, he's gonna try to push it off of him. Are you alive? Yes, Adley. Hang on, help is coming. What made you do such a reckless thing? Hmm. To be perfectly honest, I don't really know. When I came to, my body was already moving all by itself. It was as if somebody else was controlling me. I see. But you know, I'm glad it happened. Kitty cat! The kitty cat! Hey, mister! I found this kitten! It was over there! Come to think of it, I just saw it a few minutes ago. It's probably a stray. It's kind of limp. Is it okay? I don't know. I think it's unconscious. That's funny. It doesn't look injured or anything. Poor little kitty. How about if I take it to my house and look after it? Would you like to come home with me, little kitten? Well... Looks like his fate just changed in a big way. Whose fate? That kitten's, of course. Sissel's. Sissel? The name Sissel echoes in my head. That's my real name. These long, lonely ten years, you were my one and only friend. How about it? Do you remember now? Old friend? Let's go! I think... I think I finally remember. Ten years ago, I was a little kitten that wandered into this park. I was weak and all alone in the world. We also saw the same cat in the very beginning of the game. That's why he can't fucking read. <laughs> he can't read? That's why he gets a lot of things wrong? That's why he likes kids? All of the fucking hints to him being a cat, I would, each time you'd say something, I was just like, Mah! Somebody. Somebody, please look at me. Baby. It's huh. just a kitty that a wants kitten. attention. He might get hurt. Yeah, he was just starving to death. Oh yeah, and and Yamil did say he learned how to manipulate small creatures first, so he learned how to manipulate him first. Oh, somebody, please reach a hand out to me. I had just only died at the time. I'd lost everything, my life, my memory, my body wouldn't move anymore. But I still had managed to reach a, a hand to him. He was dead, but he bit the kitty. 
Next thing I knew, my soul transferred to the black kitten. No recollection of who I was. I lived as a cat for with you for a while. After a while. Also the fact that he mistook himself for a cat in the opposite way his cat did. Uh, yeah. After a while, the man regained his memory. And I went back to being just a cat. And then the man got his body back. I took my body back from the morgue. There's somebody I had to go see. Just one more time. I took control of my body and hurried to her house. But I was just a little too late. I had just missed her as she left this world. She left me the note that said, I'm coming to you, Yamiel. His wife! Oh yeah, wasn't Sissel the name of his wife, I think? Yes, yeah. the man named me Sissel. Oh. The man named me Sissel. It was the name of something important he had lost, along with his life. His fiance. He told me about it once, but I didn't understand what it was. Those ten years were very happy for me. But they weren't happy for the man, and there was nothing I could do for him. The fact that it wasn't a briefcase, it was a fucking cat carrier this whole time. For ten years I wandered through the darkness, no particular place to go. As time passed, my powers gradually changed. At first I could only manipulate small creatures and objects, but then, after a while, I could manipulate people. That's when the darkness inside me deepened and I started to get a little twisted. Also, I wanted light. Distorted artificial light. It becomes very... The fact now that you can tell it's obviously not a briefcase, whereas before when he was holding it... Yeah! Yeah. From the side it looks like one, but then like when you see the front you see how thick it is. When I got my revenge on Lin, I would see that light, or at least that's what I tried to believe. And then, w because she resisted, he shot downward and killed his cat. She killed the cat. I left my old self buried in the junkyard and walked away. The black cat! I was possessing Sissel then. It wouldn't look very mu much a murderer if the corpse got all up and walked away after all. So you borrowed the body of your old friend. And then after he realized that he was dead. Sissel was inside that bag I was carrying tonight. I had no intention of leaving my friend behind in the country when I left. But then, when I went to possess his body, I realized something horrible. What was that? Sistel, there inside the bag, was dead. What? I was able to complete- to control- I wasn't able to control her completely. The first bullet didn't hit anything, or so I thought. But it did hit something, didn't it? It hit Sistel inside the bag. Yep, that's when I lost my life. Right there in the presence of Tamsic Radiation. Oh, so that was you. Whoops. It's okay. Fucking... It's so confusing. They look the same with their shadows of death. And that's when I got my powers of the dead. My ghost tricks. I think I understand it now. Why I was the only one who couldn't get his memory back. Ray also lied to him. It was because I thought that corpse was me. It was the only corpse I could see at the time, after all. But as it turns out, it wasn't the only dead body. And yeah, because the cat left, he would never know. My true death was hiding just behind that corpse. And 
now that I think about it, do you remember what you said? That you knew all along about me saving Lynn tonight? If you knew, why didn't you try to stop me? It's simple. Because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. Huh? Why not? Remember the thing about individual differences in the powers we get? I could control all kinds of things with living to dead. But even so, there are some things that you do that I can't. You mean... I can't rewind time, let alone change the fate of a death. If I could do those things, I would have saved your life. Not only that... Yeah, only him and Missile can... Is it something only the animals can do? Oh, yeah, it must be. Not it's only an that, but I never would have let my fiancé stay dead like that. But you're but here... You're here ten years in the past now. That's thanks to your powers. I just tagged along with you. You just... In any case, now that the starting point of this entire tragedy has changed dramatically, altering fate... Hmm. The fate of your death, the kitten Sissel's fate. And I can just bet you the fate of the woman you love has changed too. Yes, I believe you're right. So, this was the last fate to be averted, huh? Fate averted! Yes, yeah, the one Jow. Like yeah, because that means Yamiel hadn't murdered her. So, Yamiel, it looks like your plan for the revenge ended in failure. Hmm. Yeah, and I'm glad too. Hmm. I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling for those ten years. She understood. She shed tears for me. That's when my revenge was over. She saved me from the darkness. Well, I guess it's time we got back. A new ten years later was just born. Right, we should get back to our new present. Can't wait to see Miss Lynn and Miss Camilla again! So, these past ten years will now all vanish. Well, not completely. We all will have these scarring <laughs> memories! Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> The memories of all of us who are here will remain, including the memory of what I did, my crime. That's the way this game of dead works, huh? And no matter what the reason, there's no denying the fact that I took Lynn hostage and tried to point a gun at her. I have no intention of running away from that either. The, the most inexcusable crime in my new life. Hey, Sissel? Yes? When we go back, our fates will no longer be interconnected. It will be like we never met. So before that happens, I just wanted to say one thing. Tonight, I stole away your life with my own hands. I'm truly sorry. Technically, hmm. it was also- I find it funny, it, it actually ended up being Lynn actually did accidentally kill him. Yeah. It's already a thing of the lost past. Our fates have changed now, right, Yamil? Hmm. Thank you, Sissel. I'm so very glad I met you. Me too, Yamio. Sissel, are we ever going to see each other again? I mean, you are technically Kamla's dog, and that just means that, you know, Jab's going to have to adopt him in the future. I couldn't stand it if we weren't. Don't worry, Missile. I bet we'll see each other again someday. Ten years from now, our paths are sure to cross. We'll just have to wait until then. I'm pretty sure it'll be before 10 years because Jout adopted you. <laughs> like, Thistle, yeah. I'll, I'll never forget you. I'll never forget you either, valiant little doggy. Well, it looks like you come to live with me now. So let's be getting home, little black cat. Home, huh? That sounds good, Detective Jout. We all witnessed the birth of a new beginning, and now... We're each going back to our own new present. Credit scene! Yeah! Well, almost. We said goodbye to the parts of our stories that would be lost, believing that someday our paths would all cross again. Yeah, it's mostly a lot of character needed to be born first. Yeah. <laughs> Wait! Oh, oh! 
I think I know who this is. Here we go. <laughs> Before you go back to a new present, I want to thank you. Forgot about me? Before I cease to exist. Oh, it's you. Yes, it is I, Ray, in case you've forgotten. Thanks again. Everything has turned out as I had hoped. I am really grateful to you, Sissel. Thank you. Oh. Uh, but don't forget. I was only on a journey to find my own lost memory. Yes, yes, I know that. I know all about you. Can I ask you a question, Ray? I want to know. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'll tell you. Let me tell you about another version of tonight's events. You changed the fates of many peoples tonight, the first of which was hers. <laughs> oh my god. That will never not get me. Like, Jesus fuck, if you had not been there that for her tonight, her fate would have been to die in that lonely spot on the outskirts of town. That it occurred, what do you suppose would have happened? Let me tell you a story. The story of a little creature. After they stole her life that night, they broke into her apartment. Oh, and Yamio was there because they didn't take the body then. Yeah. And because he died near him, he got the powers. They stole the wooden box from the ceiling hiding place and left. And in the process... Two little dead bodies were left behind. However, the little fellow's spirit lived on. His desperate reached out to his little paw towards his mistress. And that's when a miracle occurred. What? What? Look at that, the powers of the dead. But how? He didn't really understand it himself, not yet anyway. But with all you know now, I bet you understand it, do you not? Hey, wait a minute. And he didn't get as much because he didn't die as close to the center of it. That's right, he died inside the aura of that strange energy. But unfortunately, with his meager powers, he was unable to save his little mistress. There just wasn't anything he could do with only the powers to swap objects. He needed the power to manipulate objects in order to save the little lady. The little fellow chased after the men, but there was, still wasn't anything he could do. He went all the way out there! In, in the end, he was left behind with the men in the red in deep, deep sea. And then... He went back. He went back to the world of ten years before, to the moment of this man in Fred's death. What? He decided to wait it out. He decided to wait until that night came again. And that's the other version of the story of this night. A story that had taken these ten years to be retold. Oh. So that was you, huh? That's right! I'm Missile! Ten years is a very long time in dog years. You couldn't change the fates of these people on your own. So you decided to wait those ten years out. Exactly. Oh no! <laughs> <I'm> so <sorry. laughs> and then at last, that fateful night rolled around again. By the time I had grown weak and my powers were were grown old and my powers were weak, so I decided I needed to find somebody to help me this time around. Scared the monkey for Taco Bell. 
Somebody who possessed different powers than me. But wait a second. You were able to manipulate that desk lamp? Over the course of the long years, my powers changed. My ability to swap objects weakened, but I became able to manipulate small objects. But in that case, why didn't you cooperate with yourself? Damn, ha. Huh? Because I couldn't. Huh? From watching the man in red, I found out there were individual differences in our powers. I couldn't do any of the things he could do, like travel through the telephone lines, for example. What? It may not seem like much, but it's a very important power, especially if you're trying to chase somebody. But there's something I don't understand. You knew from the very beginning that I had that power. Welcome back. How did you know so much about me? Why wouldn't I? After all, we had met before on that night the first time around. What? We met before? Old missile. Old dog. From listening to the conversation with the two intruders to the apartment, I learned that Miss Lynn had lost her life at the junkyard at the edge of town. I followed the ghost world past the junkyard and came across an incredible scene. And this time around, it was Sissel. Imagine, if you will, there in the darkness, a twisted and swiveling desk lamp. It made my first stand on end, I can tell you. That was me? So I was shot on that night the first time around as well. <laughs> just wiggling. You had lost your memory that time, too. You had just died and you felt confused. You declined to cooperate with me. I did what? <laughs> He's a cat. Of course he did, didn't want to cooperate. He's I like, just no. Yeah. I just want to find my own lost memory. I'm sorry, but I can't help you. That's what you said. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> and then you just fucking left. <laughs> it fucked up. And got into that phone <laughs> line and miss and missile was just seething. Missile was just sitting there fucking <laughs> seething. <laughs> and was like, I sat here for so long. <laughs> And then you disappeared. The fact that he saw this, though, and then he went back in time for ten years and was like, I remembered this. I remembered this. <laughs> it's like, for ten years, like, Missile had this happen, and then for ten years, he sat in that junkyard, and he just waited, like, I hate that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Way over the telephone line. <laughs> I just love it. like, see ya. I... <laughs> I'm really sorry I didn't help you. That's why I decided that this time, I would use that desire of yours to our mutual advantage. I fucking lied. Mutual advantage. The one thing you were interested in was finding your own lost memory. I could guide you on the right path. Doing that, we both would benefit, and namely, the right path would be the path to the man in red, to Yamiel. What? I gave you the information you needed to know how to set you in the right direction. And then I gave you a time limit. Hi, Muffin! A time limit? That's right. As you know, I said you only had until tomorrow morning. To be near the- Oh, no worries. If I hadn't done that, you wouldn't have found out the truth tonight. And then the man in red would have been sealed away at the bottom of the sea forever. If that had happened, it would have been all over, and I would have had to do it a fucking again! Then you mean... That thing about ceasing to exist? Yeah. He's a good boy. He's a top Pomeranian guy. Oh, that? Completely made up. A little naughty of me, I know. <laughs> but I just wanted you to use your time wisely. Oh boy. I hate to admit it, but this little doggy really outsmarted me in every way. You know, it's really a cat thing to be like, I'm smarter than a dog, and then when it's, smarter, when it's outsmarted by the dog, you're like, hey! You can't do that! <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Let's just call it the wisdom that comes with age. Because he spent the, what, the entire night just mocking Missile most of the time? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hmm. And now it's time to say farewell. These past ten years will cease to exist. And with them, so will I. Missile. I believe in you. I always knew you could do it. And so you did. Thank you. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Missile. 
so you waited and waited these ten long years. All for the sake of your two ladies, Lynn and Camilla, huh? Of course, because that's what doggies do! Now then, farewell, Cecil! And so the story of a single night came to an end. Nobody but us knew what really happened. I made my way back, back to a new present. There we go. Let's go! We're finally seeing the ending of this game! It's been three years since I fucking- I think like, what, two, three years I started this game on stream? I can finish games, I probably- Huh. How come it's so dark? I'll just turn the lights here. Aww! Hey, it's her apartment! Don't get shot! <laughs> Especially since it killed her last time. Yeah. Also, the fact that they did this means that they absolutely, all of them absolutely remember. Not just the ones that were there at the scene. All of them fucking remember. <laughs> like... Were you surprised? You you bet I was. You nearly scared me to death. I thought I was going to get shot. Yeah, right? <laughs> Yippee, it worked. But it's not even my birthday today. It was my mom's birthday the day before yesterday. I made the surprise for her, but it came out so well I wanted to use it again. That's alright, Lynn. After all, we're celebrating the birth of your new position as a detective, right? Really? Thank you, Detective Jowd. Dad, you're home! Hi, Kamala. Let me introduce you. This is Lynn. She was just assigned to the detective division today. Hi, Kamala. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Lynn. Congratulations on becoming a detective. Huh? Is something wrong? You have one of those badges too. Oh, this, yeah. I have one just like it. My dad gave it to me the other day. But yours looks a lot older than mine though. Haha, <laughs> how are you long are you going to plan on wearing that toy badge, Lynn? <laughs> What's wrong with it? To me, it's the symbol of a real detective. It's been 10 years since then, hasn't it? Who would have guessed you'd actually become a detective one day? When you gave me this badge, I just knew. I just knew it was my destiny somehow. Destiny, huh? And now that I'm a detective, I'll find out what my destiny will lead me to. Uh -huh. That you will, that you will. Aw, Sissel's like, pay attention to me! Yeah, just like, hello, pet me. Oh, hello, don't tell me you're the same little kitten. That's right, the very one. You know what? This is a very, very special cat. He's ten years old, but he's still a kitten. Still a kitten? That's the crow. Yep, he never got any bigger or anything. Wow, what a mysterious little fella. I know, he's right? He's dead. He is dead. <laughs> His name is Sissel. Sissel. Hmm, seems to me I've heard that name somewhere before. Aw, I think Cecil really likes you, Lynn. Little guy. Oh, that's the mom. She looks just like her, but older. What the fuck? All right, everyone. Let's start the celebration. Okay, Mom. <laughs> they got the chicken. <laughs> Lynn, it's your favorite. Yeah. Oh, hold the key. I bet you're just like me. You just know let you here somehow, too. Technically, he should still be able to talk to her. And so we meet again, Sissel. Oh, she does remember! From just that single night, as a human, I got a glimpse into their world, and I learned something. Their fates, their lives, they were all inter interconnected. Somewhere, somehow, in some way. And now this is my new fate. I guess I really am a cat. It suits me just fine to curl up and watch. Watch the strange and beautiful patterns of their lives on the world. 
And it looks like I'll have plenty to watch here for quite a while. The fact that mom's looking between both of them like, damn, because they're going to <laughs> fucking town on that chicken. They both have an individual chicken each. That's so much fucking food. She's like, <gasps> oh god. <laughs> oh my god. Happy, oh, it's you. Happy birthday to our lovely Lynn. Uh, like I said, it isn't my birthday. Oh. Uh... Hey, Miss O. I thought I asked you to stay home and guard the. The birthdays are for celebrating together with friends and loved ones. That means Nothing that. Like it, baby. Lynn adopted oh. uh, li uh adopted him instead of, because oh Lynn probably got him for her Camilla. Lynn... Oh, that makes sense. So missile's Lynn's dog now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Phoenix Wright go. Yes. <laughs> also, when it's not wagging, it just looks like he has a kitsune tail. It's actually what yeah. it, that thing. It bothers me so much because I'm just like, yeah, it's wagging so fast. But then when it's not wagging, all of those tails are it's visible. Like, They're the. Yeah. I stare at those tails a lot. Yeah, because a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, you know, it's because it's wagging so fast. And I'm like, no, it's actually like if you see on the side there, he's he, it's very like black. It's darkened out, but you can see it there. It's not what it's completely still. It just stays like that. I'm not even going to bother. This is all going to go be too, too fast for us to read it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, his feet are out again. Oh, is he covered a little bit? No! Oh, sorry, Sila. Let me move him. There we go. You know, that really not exactly. Oh, wow. the best customer Lynn. <laughs> Probably. Yes, his nose is a sausage. I don't understand. I want to eat it. Ah! It's oh, him! Oh, it's him. Aw, sausage head. He's out. Yeah, because he wasn't- he, he, he couldn't get arrested. Yeah, it didn't happen. Sausage headed freak. What are they doing? Oh, no. They're gonna fucking die. He's gonna kill her. Excuse me? Where did he find those instructions, the internet? Him. Nobody would- Yeah, they're gonna fucking die. Hey, he's rich! Go, slummy man! Didn't even move. Yeah, the pure I fucking do torment of the that... whole game not being able to say anything about it. Right? I also love that this ending song is like a mix of both Missile Song and Sizzle Song. Yeah. It's so hard not being able to say my favorite part about Sissel. <laughs> Same. Just smacked him in the head with that.
gets free! Oh, birds! <laughs> oh, that screen went to sleep. He's still researching the thing! Yeah, because at this point no one would know about any of the powers anymore. Yeah. Oh, his pigeon. Oh my god, he's homeless. Yeah, he just lives there. <laughs> he still watched it happen. <laughs> Oh, look at him go! Yomiel's finally getting oh, out! Yomiel's getting out. Let him- let him have <laughs> his little dance. <laughs> dance away the pain. Up. Probably. Yeah. Oh my god, he's wearing <laughs> the giant fucking Tell me he it's tell me he drew this all. Mm-hmm. Oh that Lynn visits him. At least take the cat with you. We gotta see the fucking picture. Yeah, it is of course it's of Cecil. Oh wait, no, his wife would be visiting him, because she's now alive. Oh! Oh my god, they're gay. <laughs> yeah, the wife's not even in the photo with them. Yeah. <laughs> I love that his wife isn't even there. Yeah, like, this is a still shot, and you know, there are multiple fucking tails. This dog is a fucking kitsune. Not a normal Pomeranian. <laughs> Like, all of those tails move individually. It drives me insane. Yeah. That's why there was one more thing where it's supposed to show that he has the thingy in him, unless it does it at the very, very end. Donut! Where's the rat? Yeah, where's the fucking rat? There's a rat. Oh, there it is.
Yo, stand by there, shoot Kumi. Oh, I didn't show it. Or is it going to now? Nope. So it's supposed to show at the very, very end, like, the fact that, um, at least I remember in the DS one, um, it would, like, the after the credits had rolled, it would show that, um, Sissel had the rock inside of him instead. And then he would just, like, go and curl up or something, if I remember correctly. But yeah. thanks, everybody, for being here. This is one of my favorite games ever. Play it if you yeah. ever have the chance. Fucking, I've been, like, just ha- nobody to talk to except I've already forced Siler to play it but yeah no it's one of the games that I'm like I love it but I can't talk about it at all ever yeah yeah let's go raid Juniper alright see y'all have a good night bye